Welcome, welcome. We've got a bit of a another split stream kind of day today. There's a, a few things going on this afternoon that I can't stream. I can't be here to stream, but means you get a morning stream and you get to see me tonight. So I mean, it's a, it's a win-win for for a lot of you to be honest. But hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're well. Uh, I'm gonna go this scene um, because it's just better. Oh, Lumia. Ugh. I forgot something. Um, good morning there, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are down at the one and only Jakarta. I was going to do fuck it or fuck it, whatever you say, but um, this just is a better scenery, so should be a good idea. Love a split stream. Yeah, it's a split stream, but it's not a split stream long haul. Um, yeah, it's a split stream, but it's not a split stream long haul. I have a funny feeling that Mondays might be our split stream long haul day. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, but who do we have in chat though? Welcome in. Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome. Harry's here. Let's go, Harry. I wondered if you'd tell that. No, I'm kidding. Hopefully, well, Harry. Good to see you. Max, hello. Aaron, welcome in. Because I'm in your part of the world, you see, Harry. Um, Alfie says, remember to turn off the APU this time. Okay, thanks. We'll try our best. We'll try our best. Um, we upgraded the scenery as well. I got the payware. Uh... Jakarta because the freeway one was trash. Um, Mrs. Clad, hello as well. Good morning with, with your cuppa as well. Fucking toasters, hello, mate. Welcome, Rev. Hayden, um, Havia, welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hassan, good afternoon. Gigi's on the flight yesterday. Thank you. Yes, if you haven't watched it, watched it yesterday. Go and give it a look. Um, we flew out of uh, out of Toronto. We done a twelve hour and well, it ended up being like a twelve hour and five minute flight down to Dubai. Um, brilliant, brilliant flight. Split stream, 12 and a half hour flight, 12 hour, five minute flight. And, um, yeah, we, we got like a hundred and, what was it, 156 feet per minute or something in the end. Um, yeah, love it. Really, really good. And Dubai looked amazing anyway. Even without flight damper Dubai, I mean, even with like, was it the Orbex landmark pack we had? Um, that was good enough, to be honest with you. That was good enough. Um, I'm doing well though, Hassan. Yes, I'm doing very well. I mean, I was on stream yesterday until 10 p.m. maybe, something like that. Um, my hair is still an absolute mess. I need to get it cut. I might do that this afternoon, actually. I'm not too sure. If not, then I'll do it, like, over the next few days. But it's an absolute mess at the minute. It's an absolute mess. Uh, they're not removed, Hassan. They're just privated. Um, just, I mean, you, you can probably maybe still go on the playlist and see them all. Um, I need to go back to Crawley, actually, because they've turned electric. And, uh, they've got rid of all the petrol ones. So, I'm looking forward to going back. But, um, yeah, it's not... It's not like, you know, I, I, I don't know. They're unlisted, but you should still be able to see them somehow. You should still be able to see them somehow. Um, let me just get Elvatex open as well, and we'll change some of the aircraft around. 738, there we go, perfect. How is everybody, though? Oh, I've been signed out of Elvatex. That's never happened before. Uh-oh. I've got no idea what my password is. I think Alfie DM'd me it back in the day. Was it Alfie? No. It was Will, didn't she? Don't worry. Hang on. Oh, there's an update to it as well. Right, let's get the update going, and then we'll uh, we'll go and get my password. Um, oh, it's all good. No worries. It's all good. I won't be able to make it. No worries, Harry. It's all good, mate. No problem at all. Plus, I mean, it's an early morning stream anyway. I don't expect anything like that. And plus, it's... um, it's Yeah, I, I might... To be honest with you, we might do more Singapore tonight if I feel like it. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Although, it'll be probably too late, so we'll see. We'll see. No worries. Uh, Max, good morning. Another Max. Oh, no. Aviation Max, welcome in, mate. There is way too many Maxes, honestly. If there's anyone who is called Max, it's just like, uh oh. I if I like, I'm gonna get you muddled up with another Max in this stream, but it's fine. Hopefully, well, mate. Good to see you. Uh, my password is incorrect. Password or username incorrect. Uh oh. Hang on, guys. Sorry, one second. Let me just try and find my password for Alvatex, because then I can get the overlay working. Sign in. Password or username incorrect. Oh no. It's done what it's done previously. Forgot password. Right, shall I reset my password? Hang on. I hope this works. If, if this doesn't work, then the overlay is just not going to work today. So I just need to get this done. Um, I got logged out of my Alvatex account the first day I got access to it. Good times. Yeah. I, I rely on it for my overlays. Worst case scenario, I just change over to the other overlay, um, which is open Alvatex. Oh, here you go. Password reset. Ah, he might be working on it. Hang on. Let me just reset my password. Sorry, you can't, guys can't see anything for a second. Right, let's try this with the new password. Yes, I'm in. Let's go. Let's go. As easy as that. There you go. Nevzy, Will, Hinchy, it works. Right, awesome. Okay, we will hopefully then, if we just do literally two things, the overlay will work. Perfect. There you go. There you go. 
Um, you're, no worries, no worries, Harry. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know what we got planned tonight. I've got no idea. Um, I'll work it all out during today, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, fucking toasted, mate. Alpha text is actually really good. I had loads of friend requests come in, and if I turn off that traffic, I mean, it won't be very busy now, because it's a Tuesday morning on a work day, but the map is slowly getting busier, I suppose. It is slowly getting busy, and then we're the only, uh, the only little aircraft down here, but there is about some traffic, though, which is good. There's about some traffic. Um, but there you go. Is it working, though? Oh, the prediction. Uh, no, it won't work. That won't work, Cass, until I've taken wheels off the ground, silly. I've got to take off before you can open the predictions. It does it automatically, but I need to get wheels off the ground. The livery we're rocking today, by the way. Um, I don't know if it got updated like 18 hours ago or if it just came out 18 hours ago. Uh, but it's Garuda Indonesia 738. It's got like all the nature to future. I don't really know what all of this is, but it looks very, very cool. Um, so that's the livery we're rocking all the way down to Singapore. It's an hour and a half flight, roughly. So if we get out of here by 11, we'll be pretty much done for lunch. Um, and then I've got a few meetings this afternoon. Um, and then I'll be live again tonight, probably like 7, half 7 again. Um, for something else. I don't know what, um, but I'm sure we can sort it out during the stream, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry it's 738 again, but you know, we went through a phase of Airbus, now I'm in the phase of this again. Also, the scenery doesn't look too bad. I haven't actually looked around the scenery, but it's much better than the freeware. So if you guys remember back to about four, five, six weeks ago, we flew out of Jakarta as well. Um, and we had the freeware Jakarta. This one, I think Rev told me was the better one anyway, and it does look a lot better. Um, so I'm glad we've got this one. The true crime here as the Greta plane in turbo. Oh, yeah. Right, well, I just went anywhere. <laughs> Is the domestic over here? Although Jakarta's technically international if it goes Singapore, though. Oh, unless Garuda... Oh, well, we're, we're staying here, it's fine. We've probably got the long taxi. I'm pretty sure this is the airport with, like, the jungle taxiway, yeah. We'll probably be ending up going down there again, so it's fine. We'll stay here. We're staying right here. Um... You weren't, you weren't here to remind me about forgetting... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Hassan, right? Yesterday, if you're still here, I hope you are. We took, we done a long haul, right? We took off out of Toronto in the morning. Um, and we left the APU on for the entire 12 hours of the flight. Turns out we burnt so much fuel that um, there was, like, an inconsistency, basically, um, in, like, the left wing to the right wing. And we literally landed with, like, 1.5 tons of fuel left because we left the APU on. So every time that you say, oh, are you forgetting something? It, you left the APU on. Because you weren't there yesterday, I didn't check it. <laughs> so we left it on for the entire long haul. Um, but it's, it's, it's more difficult to see because it doesn't say APU running on the... Um, on the wait, I think it does, but I just didn't look. Um, and then, yeah, so we were rocking not a lot of fuel, unfortunately, yesterday, but it's fine. I won't blame you, Hassan, because the amount of times you've saved me, it just happens to be the one time you're not here that I forget the APU. So, yeah, there you go. I was here in the morning, but not evening. Oh, so you were here, or maybe you did write, maybe you did say that, say it, I just didn't read your message. Maybe that's also true. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, we'll get refueling. We'll go and get going. Um, we'll get boarding started as well, actually. That will happen after we've refueled the aircraft, um, which we can probably do through the aircraft anyway, so it should be good. I do need a checklist. I've got... I always have my mental checklist with me. Um, how do I do this? How do I do this? Prepare boarding? Request boarding. There you go. Um, yeah, I've always got my mental one, um, but... I never, I need like one actually written in front of me as well. Um, Prince, say hello, welcome, Princey Anno. Prince, why Anno? Prince Anno, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome in, mate. First resub of the day. Uh, waiting for action. Oh, it's opening all the doors. Awesome. Thank you so much. No message to roll in, but you are dropping the Twitch Prime like a freaking legend. Thank you so much. If you guys are in the channel, go and share some love and light up the chat with emotes. Thank you so much, Prince. Four months, first resub of the day. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you. Happy Tuesday, and hopefully you are well. Hopefully you're very well. Thank you for keeping that sub going. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we're going to go and get some uh, power on the aircraft as well. We'll turn on the batteries. I'll turn up the sim uh, sound as well. And we should be good. Thank you so much, dude. Right. Batteries can be turned on. And we don't have ground power connected. I don't know why. I need to redo my state in the aircraft. For some reason, it always loads without the GPU connected. I think I just need to save the panel state and then make sure that one's the one that loads default, if that makes sense. Um, fuel, well, we'll have a look at the, this quickly. Um, hour and 25 minutes up to Singapore, flight level 320, pretty much chilling. Um, and then that's the route. So we're out of Jakarta, 
um, heading pretty much north over Pilambang and then into Singapore. The F1 doesn't technically start until Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, whatever. Um, but, you know, we're getting the, uh, the early people up into Singapore ready for it. Why is there four or five airports in a matter of meters from each other? I'm so confused. One of them's an airbase. What? So you've got Singapore Changi. You've got an airbase. You've got potentially another airbase, another airbase, and another thing. What? Singapore has five airports, and Singapore's, like, really, really small. Spencer, good morning. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. At least you made it and explains was a butter low on fuel. Exactly, Hassan. There wasn't much weight put tying me down. Uh, this isn't Volanta, no. This is Alvatex. It's very similar to Volanta. If you're happy with Volanta, stay with Volanta. Um, it's just I like the globe. Literally the only reason I've chose to Alvatex. And plus, it's free, so... Uh, I mean, Volanta's free, but still. Um, there's pay wear stuff on it. Um... You should see the departure procedures for Salitar by KW. It's comedy. What? What? Uh, what's the iCal for it? And I'll have a look at them. What's the iCal for it? Uh, when does it come out? I don't know, Nero. I uh, I haven't actually spoke with Nevsi, the guy who made it, in for quite a while. So I might have to drop him a message and just see if he's got any sort of updates. But as much I will get told as like I'll get told pretty much the same time as you guys really. So WSSL missed. Good morning. Hello. Welcome. Are you not? Have you not got any like? school or whatever today i don't know or are you day off uh search wssl yeah you are right boom, boom, boom. oh there's no sit oh there's there's approach there's approaches there's no departures though there's no uh there's not any charts for it unfortunately that's a shame ollie good morning hello see the hair situation has improved i literally told i literally said this morning that i need to get it cut i'll probably get it cut uh tomorrow or a little bit later on in the week i can get it done this afternoon i suppose as well but that's you know i've got enough to do this afternoon i've got enough to do this afternoon hey you bought the 600 let's go spencer let's go if you have any questions let me know um just get loads of liveries installed for it i suppose from flightsim.to and you should be all right data link fail Data link fail. That's unusual. It's not the end of the world, but that's weird. Um, I'm in school. What? Oh, no. You better be on a break and not in class. How many people tune into this stream when you're in school? You shouldn't tune into the stream when you're in school. I appreciate the dedication to the cause, but you really shouldn't. What's beeping? Oh, is that just because we haven't done that? Maybe, yeah. There you go. There you go. You did it yesterday as well. Tut, tut, tut. Tut, tut, tut. Um, oh, there you go. We just had to wait for the data link to sync up. That's all it was. That's not too bad. Um, loving it right now. Does Flightsim.to work? Oh, you're on Xbox. Does anyone know how to get liveries on Xbox? It might just be the marketplace. I'm not 100% sure how you, uh, how you go about that. But I think it's the marketplace you get them. But I don't know if they're paid or freeware. Um, yeah, that would be why, Rev, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's an early Tuesday morning, let me off, please. Um, okay, we're good, don't worry, that would be why it wasn't working. Um, Q&H and all that we can go and get as well. He's got some of the marketplace, there's not much, though. Oh. I mean, I guess in hindsight, if you, like, I don't know how old you are, but when you, like, I don't know, I would, I would get a PC. If, if you're really into aviation and planes and you want to play MSFS a lot better, getting a PC and buying MSFS on PC is so much better than Xbox. It's just, there's so much more content you can get for free, and, yeah. I'm pretty sure if you have a Microsoft account as well, you can re-download the 736. I don't know if it's cross-platform, but I'm pretty sure the purchases made on the marketplace are transferable between PC and Xbox. If you bought the 738 on a marketplace, it's transferable to PC. I don't know, don't quote me. But, yeah. Jack, good morning, hello. How much of the, um... Of the Steam Deck of used. Ha has your internet surfaced and downloaded something? Fucking toasters coming in. Let's go. We were meant to be flying to uh, fuck it with the uh, with this aircraft, but we turned out these, this aircraft doesn't fly to fuck it. So there you go, mate. Thank you for your three months tier one PC fund. PC fund. What a legend. I uh, I don't really know what I'm upgrading my PC at the moment, but I'll put it towards something. Probably a new. Probably to be fair. I need to I need to update my like M2 drives on my PC because they are like three four years old and they've got like a clock count of like two thousand, so 
Sorry. I mean, they're, they're aging, but they're still working. Thank you so much, fucking toasters, for the three months tier one. A freaking legend, mate. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I need to improve that, uh, the button there, but I'll get that. I'll get that. Um, yeah, Jack. Uh, wait, what did Jack say? Did Jack say he didn't? Oh, he didn't answer. Okay, that's fine. I'm in the West, Jack. Uh, somewhere to Vancouver. Night. Oh, Calgary. I think that's Calgary to Vancouver. That looks good. Last time, that looks good. Last time I was in Indonesia, Hassan. Oh, it's gorgeous. I don't know. Is it, it looks windy, though. I like all the ripples in the swimming pool. It looks really, really windy. It looks gorgeous, though. I love the thatched roofs. Mate, I love it. Indonesia's gorgeous. I definitely a place I want to go to. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lots of YouTube tutorials. Yup. Lots and lots and lots. I should do my own YouTube tutorials, but 100% nobody would... Like, nobody would... If I made a tutorial on how to fly an aircraft, nobody would ever watch it or trust it. <laughs> like, it would be an absolute meme, because I'll be teaching the community how not to fly a 738, or how not to fly an A320. Like, that's just not going to go well, is it? I should actually do it for the memes, but... Yeah. There'll be some people that would watch it, but then I'd feel like I'll be... You know that kind of thing where you're younger and you start getting into, like... You know, you've got to get into good habits when you're young. Basically, that's just me teaching someone new to flight sim, getting into bad habits from day one. So, I don't think it's... I think I'll stay clear of uh, ever doing them kind of tutorials on uh, YouTube. I mean, they are kind of... Mi like, I feel like there is a missing... I'm not, uh, what's the word? I don't know. I feel like there's a missing area in YouTube for, for things like that. There's obviously, like, the main ones that are published by PMDG and stuff. But they're long. They're boring. People just want to get to the point, you know, what you've got to do, when you've got to do it, and all of that. But, um, yeah. Also, is the fuel, ah, uh, the fuel won't disappear until we actually load fuel because I've just unloaded it. So if we just add a tiny, teeny, tiny bit more, hopefully they'll clear off in a moment. We can only hope anyway. Um... Azami just got recommended as a Facebook friend. Oh, Casper. I know exactly where you're going with that as well. That's... that. Oh, my God. <laughs> the fact that you're still calling my sister Azami is hilarious. Well, I mean, please don't... Please don't, uh, please don't add her. She won't have a clue who you are. Um, or if you do, then she'll definitely send me a message. Like, do you know someone called Casper Beach? Um, yeah, he's a, he's a freaking... Almost a first officer, mate. It's only because my sister apparently looks like a Zami from Rainbow Six Siege. And to be honest, I see exactly where they're coming from because she does. Um, right, 62.7. Uh, oh no, that needs to be unloaded, 62.1. Meow, uh, meow, missed you've changed your colour of your Twitch name. You've changed your colour of your Twitch name. Right, 62.1, reserve fuel, we'll go with two. Cosmodex to regard it, Indonesia will go with eight. I don't even know if that's true, but we'll move. Um, na 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 Uh, we'll get a meta as well. We're gonna have a look what runways they're using. Meta for we, also known as Jakarta. Uh, winds are 0, 060 0 at 19 knots. It's quite windy, which explains the picture that Hassan posted, actually. Um, so yeah, 0, 07 right. Now, does that, does that help our situation? It does help our situation, because that means we don't have to go on this horrible taxiway. Although part of me wants to. Screw it. We'll do 07 left, because I can. 07 left, Delta 2 Bravo. I just want the taxi. Delta 2 Alpha, close enough. Execute. And then we've got the arrival into Singapore later for the Grand Prix, which is not happening until the weekend. But there we go. Repov 1 Bravo, 20 right. 20 right, Repov 1 Bravo. There you go, execute as well. My hop on Jakarta weather is never this spicy. Really? I chose a good time. I mean, it's clear skies. Look, we want real time, real weather. It's be it looks like a gorgeous day in Jakarta. Like, this is not... I don't know if the live weather is working. It looks like it is, but... Yeah, we got, we're going to do a long taxi out of here, though. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, boarding should have started, yeah. We've got 148 passengers, and the baggage is just boarding as well. There you go. Love to see it. You're going to try and work out how to ILS. Uh, what, in the 738? Uh, just remember your course and ILS frequency. And then just basically press the approach button when you're on final. Look for the pink diamonds on your main, like, F, like, flight director screen in front of you. Um, the pink diamonds should match up when you're on the ILS. Just think of the ILS as, like, a line from the runway where you're, like, a flight path you're meant to follow. Going, like, down and towards the runway. And then as long as you're within range of that, it will intercept and go on it. It's like a, a fishing line in the sky that your plane grabs onto, is the way I look at an ILS. It's either hot, wet, or hazy. It's neither of those. Actually, is it hot? What's the temperature? 32 degrees. Yeah, it's hot. 
It's very hot. So you can do R now for now, no worries. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember I remember spending. So I used to have a school friend called James. Um, I literally probably spent like 12 hours in a Skype call with him. Yes, I'm old. Skype because Discord didn't exist. And we were trying to just fly like or just learn ILS frequency. And we spent ages. We were even getting to the point of listening to Morse code. I don't, know, I don't know what we were up to, but we got to a point of somehow listening to Morse code on the plane to work out what the ILS was. And I, I mean, we obviously done it very wrong, um, but we got there eventually. It's how I learn anyway. Super Mega Geek, good, good to see you, mate. Thank you so much for tuning in yesterday and for dropping that prime. I appreciate it very much. We are back this morning um, for a flight up to Singapore. And then we'll be live again uh, tomorrow, uh, tonight, t today evening. No, that's just tonight. Um, for more flying, so it should be good. Thank you for popping back, mate. Hopefully you had a good night. Hopefully you had a good night. And uh, we're just pretty much getting ready to go. I need to enable Toby. That would be a good start, wouldn't it? Yes. Yes, it would. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Casper's put it in voice as well. Casper. <laughs> I can't show stream, but... Oh my god, that's such a bad profile picture as well of his army. Nah, that's actually so weird. No, I hate that. That's awful, man. I don't know if Casper's still here, but oh my god. Hang on, let me just... Sorry, give me a second. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, about to land into Vancouver, mate. I wish you the best, Spencer. I wish you the best. I'm sure you will butter it with your Arnav arrival. Um, right, flaps 5, uh, 1, 2, 3, 152, CG trim 4.8. Meow. 4 point... Is there anywhere you tells you your trim on a 738? I've always just done it through eyes. I mean, that's about 4.8, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4... Yeah, it's about, it's about right. It's about right. I did just arrange some uh, flight sim and planning a Cessna 172 UK tour. Oh, nice. Many plan uh, play DCS and ILS. Uh, oh, uh, Sturmovic 2, is that? I used to play that, that, play that game as a kid. Mate, you're going to love it. DCS is brilliant as well. I need to play that more. Um, yeah, I used to play one of the original IL2s on my, like, XP computer back in the day. Um, yes, that shows my age, but... Yeah, IL2. I actually, like, put a CD in my PC and, like, load the game. I still still have the CD somewhere in my bedroom, but... Yeah, brilliant, brilliant game. With, like, Spitfires and, like, just everything. Really, really good. Um, right, let's go... And what was it? 152 up here. We'll go and get the, um... Bum, 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 bum. We'll go and get the thing in Bobby Frequency. 067. 067... And then we'll get the APU just ready to go as well. There we go. Is it still hot in the UK? It's a lot. It's a little bit cooler now, Hassan. Um, if I just go Kent, whatever. Yeah, the the rain's coming on. It was like what last week? It was like thirty degrees. Really, really good day over the weekend. Um, but yeah, it's it's just cooling down a little bit more wet next week as well. So, the uh the jet stream's lowering as well. Flying Jelly, your sister was in here earlier. She might already she might still be here. She was in school watching the stream. I told her that she shouldn't be on school watching the stream because she should be learning. But yeah, she might she might have gone. Hayden's still here. I thought you said you had to go, Hayden. Oh yeah, college. Oh no, college in a maybe you said in a bit. Maybe you said in a bit. Uh yeah, she did just like me. Tut, tut, yeah, just like you in your uh, learning your films and novels. Um, see, I digest what you say. Very sunny, but cool up here in Scotland. Yeah, it's it's a bit. I mean, it's kind of sunny. I've only got my curtains closed because it's uh, it's a lot easier for you guys to see me. Is my GSX broken or are we? What's going on here? But oh, baggage loading. Right, okay, that's fine. We got a few more baggage to come on, then we should be good. Bono, good morning. Just started the college life. Oh yes, first year on, isn't it? You're like technically year twelve. It would be. Not due to go in today, but uh, until like 1pm. Mate, this is, you'll soon get the grip of college to the point where college is like so much more relaxed than school was and ever is. Um, I never got any homework at college. Obviously, there was loads of coursework and stuff you had to do. Um, but I was in college maybe, what, four days every week? Um, and like two of those days were half days. Like, it's so relaxed. It's so good, though, because you have so much more free time. Then you can go and get yourself a job earning money on the days that you're not in college. It's a busy life, but it's good fun. It is very good fun. Uh, I've just sat watching... Oh, you're in college now, Hayden. Right, okay. Are you currently doing any work? 
Charlie, good morning. Hello, how are you? Are you looking forward to Saturday, Charlie? Don't it don't impress me much. Ba, 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 na. Three two zero. Three two zero. You're in maths at the moment. Is that one of your um did you choose like what is it, further maths, extended maths? Or is it like the GCSE maths on like the retake? Although hey, no would put you as a smart person. I don't know. I don't know what makes me think that, but I just think you're smart. <laughs> I already got some physics at homework, so I'm, oh, already. Uh oh. Yeah, they completed, so I don't have to do it later in college. That is smart. I used to go to like we, me and my mates used to like basically go to round, go around one of each other's houses at like lunchtime or whatever. We had like because it was annoying. One of our days in college, we had a lesson in the morning at like 10 a.m. and the next lesson was like 3 p.m. in the afternoon, and we got so annoyed at the teachers. We were like, "What are you doing?" Like. You know, we have a, an hour and a half in the morning till half eleven, and then we don't have a lesson until three o'clock. Like, there's no point in us going home. Um, but then when when we could start driving, because we were obviously of that age, one of us just picked up everybody and we just went around each other's houses. And well, I mean, we went to do college work, but I think we just ended up playing Rocket League and FIFA. But good fun though, good fun, good fun, good fun, and good fun. Right, APU's on. Uh, we'll go and disconnect GPU, and we'll think about getting pushback as well. So if we go ground services. Uh, parking brakes would be good if they're on and um, remove chocks. There we go. Nice 98. Nice, Spencer. Nice. Oh, A-level. Oh, okay, the smarter maths then. The smarter maths. No, because I think that some people do retake like maths and English in college, don't they? If they failed it in GCSE, I think you can't, you have, you're like, you're forced to retake it. Um, so, yeah, that, I mean, that's only where I was questioning it, but fair enough. Bono, good luck with your uh, physics homework, though. Damn, physics. I used, We used to always have a supply teacher. I really enjoyed physics, but it was ruined by a supply teacher. I don't think we ever had a permanent teacher for physics, ever. Look at this monorail. This airport looks sick. We've got a long taxi, by the way. We're taking off on this runway. <laughs> We're currently all the way over here at the wrong terminal for Garuda Indonesia, but it's fine. They don't look. There's the haze that, you, that uh, fucking Toasters was on about. There's the haze. This is as easy as it's only 11 questions, which would take maybe an hour. Oh, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Toga to the runway, nah. I'm hoping that the jetway disconnects, but I'm wondering if uh, they're still waiting for passengers to board, maybe? I'm not sure what's what's happening. Boarding, it says boarding completed, so... I'm not sure if the jetway is going to disconnect, or if we're just going to leave the jetway on. Ah, there we go. Okay, perfect. Right, we'll get the doors closed. Uh, closed door. And then we should be good. Perfect. Perfect, but we have it. Uh, yeah, I uh, I really wish I was flight simming when I was younger. Because I would take off on a flight, do all my homework in cruise, and then it would encourage me to do the work before I land. But it didn't really happen. I didn't really have the PC capable for it, really. It would just lag all the time. So, didn't bother. Right, anyway, that's hopefully going to be connecting very soon. We'll aim for, if we push back nose right on, we're on apron Bravo. We're down here on, like, Bravo. 20, you know, Bravo 6, Bravo 6, um, we'll go Sierra, uh, Sierra Charlie 5, uh, no, we won't, we'll go Sierra Charlie, this one, whatever this is, I'm not sure, is Sierra Papa 2, maybe, yeah, Sierra Papa 2, um, follow that all the way around, all the way around, probably ending up Echo Charlie 1 if we don't make a right-hand turn, follow that round, and then we'll go November 9, we may as well do full length, we could probably get away November 7 or November 8, but, you know, if we've got the opportunity to use full length, I will use it. Huge airport. Jakarta's massive. Do you want me to do a top-down view of Jakarta? Hang on. Let me show you how big this airport is. Look at this. Ready? Do, 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 do. So you'd think this bit is big enough, right? You're going to get lost. Why not the other way around? What do you mean? Oh, you mean... Oh, there. Oh, yeah. Good point, actually. Nah, it's boring. I want to go through the forest. That's how big Jakarta is. It's bigger than Heathrow, right? Oh, it might, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like it will serve as many passengers as Heathrow. We could use this bit here. Hmm. Should we just use the shorter way? I mean, this one looks fun, though. <laughs> I t Exactly. Fucking Toaster's nose. If, if there's a forest to fly through, we fly through. I'm doing the longer taxi. I don't care. We're doing the longer taxi because we can. Right. Let's get the... Uh, what am I doing? The drone camera back down to normal speed. There you go. That's a bit better. That's much better. Right, awesome. We'll jump in. Um, and we... Were they connected? I don't know. 
They might just be uh, asking us to continue push back. Yes, which would be nose right in a second. Awesome. The Kenko way, absolutely. The Kenko way is the best way. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I've just read another message. Right, push back nose right. Um, honestly, I'm going to have words with Casper after this. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, we'll worry about the islets in a minute as well. Traffic radar can come on. Weather we won't worry about and parking brakes will release. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This airport reminds me of Cancun that is in a forest. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cancun's an awesome, awesome place. I, uh, I want to go there in real life, actually. There's like a, a, like a, a strip almost to the right of Cancun. Um, and there's just, it looks gorgeous. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I forgot, I don't know what it's called, but it's like got loads of like hotels, swimming pool, like complexes and beaches and sandy beach. It looks awesome. It looks so good. Right, we'll focus on getting at least uh, engine two started anyway. The rest of it on the overhead is good. Um, and we just need to really, yeah, we'll get the engine started. Then we'll worry about the flaps as well. Fla uh, engine two can be turned on though. I can do food. Yes. The bridge that you go through in the forest does have some incline though. Just heads up. Ah, it's fine. We just put a bit more power down. We're pretty good at that. We won't worry. We're not going to worry. We're not going to worry. I don't know what the what the like the history behind the livery is though. From nature, I'm not too sure what that's all about, but still very cool. Have you very crossed the pond? Nope. Are the votes open? We'll do it in cruise. I will, uh, if I get the webpage up now, we'll go and do our votes in cruise. Um, is it just ctp.vatsim.net? I would assume it is. I would assume it is. Cross the pond, October 28th, eastbound edition. Yeah, it must be. Uh... Oh, you've got the, um, thank you. Oh, not found. Oh, it's because you put an apostrophe at the end. There you go. Okay, we'll do that in cruise. Heathrow always gets it anyways. So there's no point. You want me to do our lander. Well, I'll, I'll have a look through them. I'll have a look through them. Right, ground power engine one. Flaps five. One, two, five. Perfect. There we go. Is the inbuilt callouts of the pushback? Uh, yeah, the, the the PMDG does have built-in pushback. Yes, it does. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. Right, parking brakes up. Go. go big or go home. Home. Go big or go home. We're gonna be landing in Singapore. I think at its sunset again, like unintentionally, but. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oops, that's my fault. <laughs> Oops. I wonder if we've buggered up our landing gear. I don't think so. We should be alright. We should be okay. It's because my tiller was shot right from yesterday or something, maybe. Not too sure. I wonder if it will click back into, like, looking straight again. ESSA for revival, not Helsinki. Okay. Oh, it was Helsinki a few years ago, because I did that in 2021. Yeah, it was 2021 I did Helsinki. Two years ago. Damn, that was, the, that was the stream we raised, like, four grand for charity as well. Jesus, that was two years ago. We need to do something more charity-related, actually, this year. I don't know, we'll, d we'll focus on, like, maybe November, December time. We'll do, like, uh, maybe a few streams dedicated to something. I'm not sure what, but I'm sure we can sort something out. Oh just ran over your mate unbelievable right uh sorry we're probably good to get and uh, fuel mix into engine one wouldn't it there you go i want unicom uh probably yes we are i just have uh i just have the chat muted we're we're on unicom now we've turned it on um dommy good morning how are you hello good to see you welcome 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 perfect time if you guys are tuning in by the way we're uh we're just about to get rid of our uh, get out of uh jakarta for singapore so good morning andy hello how are you doing Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Two streams in a row, Andy. Damn, I feel special. Brad's here as well. I'm not Google translating that, but it probably says morning in Indonesian. I'm just psychic, mate. I'm just psychic. Um, right, yes, Hassan's got a very good point here. APU, right, right, off. 
It's not on. We're not wasting fuel on the APU for no reason. Uh, attack light could be turned on. Continuous engine one. Uh, weather system could be turned on as well. Um, and flight control check has been done. Flaps five. That's all good. That's all good. Awesome. There we go. Uh, oh, is it Kanich? Is it mean Kanichiwa? Is that what it means? Is that what it means? Landing altitude. Yes. Uh, Singapore's pretty much on the coast anyway, isn't it? Uh, Singapore, like, yeah, it's, it's 22. So, it rounded that down to zero. It wasn't intentional. It just happened, really. Uh, you should feel special. This is the uh, most I've been in Twitch this year, mate. The fact you're in this stream out of all of them. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, seatbelts as well. They should be on, no? Uh, yeah, they're on. I mean, Andy, you're a family man now, though, so... I mean, taking, like, even a minute out of your day is, like... I mean, it's probably a breather for you, to be honest with you, but... <laughs> you probably enjoy just chilling in Twitch for a little bit. Gosh, Twitch, thank you very much for the follow, mate. Welcome. Hopefully you're well, dude. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, we're going to get a taxi going on anyway. And uh, we'll get out of here. We'll get out of here. Good morning, Yviz. How are you? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you've got... Is it you and three girls in the house, I think? I want to say three. You, obviously, your other half and then two daughters, or is it only one daughter? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You worked out the ILS. Oh, good, Spencer. Glad. Good, 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 good. Oh, uh, oh, Toby's not on. I thought I enabled Toby. Oh, no, I didn't enable Toby. Bear with. We're going to get sucked in the... Uh... Ah, there we go. Oh, we disabled it. All right, hang on. F10, F9, F9, F9. Awesome. There we go. There we go. There we go. Three girls and one Andy. There you go. Only one, only, only one uh, uh, father figure in the house, I suppose. I'm very well uh, worthy. Stayed up a little late last night playing FIFA career mode. That's nice. Well, uh, FIFA 23, I would assume. I still don't know whether to buy FC 24. I'm slightly addicted. Career mode is amazing. Another one to speak about career mode with is Josh. I think Josh 910101 absolutely loves um, career mode. Have we taken the wrong turn already? I, I have a feeling we should have taken the second left. Yeah, it's fine. We'll do a right then a left just before we get down here and we should be okay. We should be okay. No, no. What? Max, do you see what Casper put in uh, in voice, by the way, earlier? Honestly. I mean, it's hilarious, but <laughs> it's quite amusing. I played career mode last night. Oh, you're saying no to me buying FC24. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's hilarious. Another Max. Oh, no, maybe that's like to do with F1, maybe. Max 1, Lando 4. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome into the stream. Yeah, it was uh, rather amusing, to be fair. Freaking Azami added my sister or uh, or popped up on recommendations or whatever. Um, he was working till half two last night. Uh, we love on call, mate. That's why I quit my IT job. They wanted me to do overtime. They wanted me to do more out-of-hours work. Otherwise, they just wouldn't pay me more money. And I was just like... No, I don't have enough free time in my day as it is, let alone working overtime, working weekends, working till like midnight on my days off. Like, it's not going to happen. I know it's on call and you don't always have to work, but I still don't like the like the pressure on your shoulders kind of thing. But there we go. Um, Max, by the way, iRacing's updated finally. It updated at midnight, Kyle told me. Um, week 1 of 13 is on. So uh, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, you'll look forward to that. Drew 4-4 four -four with City. What in your... I started a new career mode with United. Ah, there you go. United 4-4 four four with City. Is that... I mean, it's, be, it's better than a loss here to City, I suppose, Brad. It's better than a loss. British Airways applications open in one week. Do they actually? Oh, I will be definitely putting my application forward for that. I mean, it's literally an opportunity. I mean, I wouldn't, you know... It, it seems stupid to miss out on it, to be fair. It seems absolutely stupid to miss out on it. Remember when you lost 11-0 to Domi, Ian? Wait, I played FIFA with Domi back in the day? Did I actually? Mate, if I would play with any of you guys now, I would still be losing 11-0. I'm okay at FIFA, but I just don't know how all the skill modes work. Um, I'm not I'm not a little neek on FIFA, to be fair. Hattrick got a Har... Uh, Har Hattrick got a Harland. Brilliant. Harland got a Hattrick. There you go. There you go. Uh, uh, my FMC made me hold... You should probably have cleared that in uh, your flight plan. That's probably what I would have recommended doing anyway. You played against Jamie too. Yeah, Jamie definitely won though. I mean, Jamie's been playing FIFA since he was a kid, so... Yeah. I will have a look in a bit, goalie. If I click that link now, we will not be taxiing. I'm sure it's a good team though. 
I mean, the problem is with FIFA is it is it's the end of the season. The new game's coming out soon. They literally just release all the cards in packs. Like you're gonna, you're obviously gonna get a good, you're gonna get good players. So, yeah, on stream. Bam, bam. I need to get music back on. I, 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 we can't do a half an hour taxi without music. There's no point in it. We won't announce anything till we lined up on the runway. To be fair, there's literally maybe one other guy, there's guy down there. Oh, five, hang on. Facing, is that fucking toasters? I think is that. I think that's fucking toasters. Maybe. I don't know. I thought he said he'll fly with me because of the winds. Whoa. I can't tax this air guard to save my life. I'm using the rudder pedal, not the tiller. Ta ta ta. Runway t the the taxi looks sick. Uh. I don't, I don't know what you just said. Yes, I can hear you. Are we there yet? Nope. I chose the longest taxi route because I can. Oh, whoa. So it's just literally strobes, take off lights, and then we're Gucci, I think. I think we're good. Oh, whoa. Max, if you're still here, how was karting yesterday? Bam, 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 I say. Oh, hopefully you didn't get crashed into. Right, this is this is the um this is the forest taxiway. It's gonna be trees on the left and right of us. Ha! <laughs> Wasn't oh my god. That's stupid though. I'm glad you enjoyed it, but bruh. So you're just gonna have to wing it basically on speed four. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And I, I did see the uh, the crawly electric carts as well. They do look wider. They've got like a really weird like I want to say engine bit, but I don't know. They, they've got... Oh, wow, it does go uphill. They've got a... Uh, they do look, yeah, a lot chunkier, I suppose. Stupid. Did did you all complain? Or did it not get you anywhere? Marbles! We need to do more marbles. We do, we do, we do, we do. Why is this... It looks like we're just taking off on... What is going on? Should we just V1 rotate it up this taxiway? Why are we going uphill so much? It's a bit concerning. Oh my god. It seems they're building another taxiway here as well. You got third, fourth, fifth last night. Oh, what? Oh, in the lead. Oh, that's not too bad, Max. What? What's your best time? I presume you wouldn't have got 29s if you're on speed three. This is so dangerous, man. What the hell? We're now downhill. Who got first? I presume... Uh, Jack Harrison, maybe I don't know. Oh, god, that was uh, it's calm. Hello, Saint Trick. Hello, mate. welcome, welcome, welcome. It's like Amsterdam taxing because how long it is. Yep. I mean, I only made this. There was a quicker route to get to the runway, but I just wanted to do that bit back there because it's new scenery. Thirty-one point six. Oh my god, I can't say I beat you because the track conditions, but thirty-one point six. It must have been like really hot, or there was just the carts were just sliding everywhere. Hopefully you had no, uh, whoever that guy was who crashed you out, though. I'm sure he wasn't there. Well, unless he, he might have been, I don't know. Right, we'll, we'll do a second left here, and we'll taxi all the way down to the runway. Harrison got first, okay. Are you, uh, are you in the same session as Harrison in Thursday? Hey, Satrix, let's go, mate. When, uh, Alex gifted them last night, so when he's back in the stream, um, I'll let him know that you said thank you. I'll pass that on. Yeah, he's a, he's a freaking legend, mate. Enjoy the month of sub to the channel, dude. I think that was your... What was that? Your f second month or third month to the channel? I think second month. Second month. You're with Harrison for BRKC, but not... I was, uh, Jack has... Okay. I guess you're just not going to mention it to Jack, then. Fair enough. Fair enough. The thing is, you're going to get through locals, but then how are you going to practice at Cardiff? Will you just go down on Monday evenings to Cardiff or do, like, some day sessions? Because surely it's like two hours away odd, isn't it? So if you do evening sessions at Cardiff, you're not going to get home till like midnight. But I'm sure you'll work it out. Jake Jake said that Crawley was in contention for regionals, but I think they dropped it. I'm not sure. Oh no, maybe it was you who said that. I don't know. This looks gorgeous, by the way. I'm hoping that uh, the sun doesn't set before we make it down to Singapore, but I could be wrong. Two hour, 20 minutes away. Jeez. How's that, um, the thing is, even if it would, to be fair though, Max, if it was like Crawley or Reading, I mean, they would be closer, but Cardiff's probably the furthest one out, although Crawley's probably like two and a half hours as well for you. UV Boss, good morning, how are you? 
Happy uh, Tuesday morning, buddy. Oh, we've got fuel in our center tanks. There you go. It's an hour and 20 minute flight, so if we get out of here, well, we'll get out of here by 11, then we'll be uh, on the ground by about 20 past 12, which should be good. That's, this is the only flight we're doing today as well, by the way. Uh, meetings this afternoon, and then uh, we'll be back tonight for something else. I don't know 100% what we're going to do this evening, but um, I'll work it out probably like 10 minutes before we go live. <laughs> it's normally how it works for me. Normally how it works. This freeway seeing me. Nope. This is payware. Um, I forgot the developer of it. There is freeware for Jakarta, though, which is uh, good enough. It's not doesn't look this good, but if you're only flying it out of Jakarta like once or twice, then it's good enough. Um, where's our friend, by the way? Has he already departed? The guy on Unicom. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, Max One Lando Four. Thank you very much for the follow earlier, dude. Welcome into the stream. Are you? We're we only flying to Singapore because of the Grand Prix later. Although it is in like a few more days' time. But I presume you're a, a Verstappen fan. Looking at your name, oh, and and a McLaren fan. Though. I'll give you that from the McLaren fan. Uh, Binasim. There you go. Fucking toaster nose. Yeah. Binasim uh, Jakarta. We are taxing at 26 knots though, but just allow it. Left for 10 minutes and you're still taxiing. Yup. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> so we could have taxied this way on Whiskey Charlie 1, but we decided to taxi the entire way around the airport. Memes. Memes, memes, memes. So Carno Hatter. There you go. International Airport, Jakarta. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And the Mo, you're supporting Lando. Good. Do you want to see what my t shirt is? La, 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 la. Hang on. So, uh, this is going to be broken. Can you see that? You might be able to read that. I don't know. But, um, yeah. I uh, I didn't really put it on specifically for that, but... We're legion. I think Lando is literally the only merch I've ever bought for an F1 driver. I don't know. I'm not sure. What? Uh, uh, uh. Just take off zero... F you know, like, right, Dommy. Our flight plan literally says 07 right. Mm -hmm. So... I just went against it when 04 left, so yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. TFS Haw uh, TF Sean even. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. Damn, you're the fourth follower of the day, mate. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Heaven. This could be gorgeous departure. Oh, there's an AirAsia. That might be fucking toasters. I don't know though. I'm not too sure. Um Hang on, let's just confirm where we are. We are on Sierra Charlie... Hello. No, we're not. November 9. Hello! <laughs> um, and uh, Jakarta traffic uh, in... Oh, God. Uh, Indonesian 837, maybe the call sign. Uh, we're going to be lining up on runway 07 left. Is it... What's... what's is it just... Is it... What's the call sign for Garuda Indonesia? It, is it just Garuda Indonesia? Or is it Indonesian or... I'm not, sure, I'm not so sure. Oh my god, a Max fan says it's so boring seeing Max win all the time. Oh my god. That's just, like, amazing. It's just... Okay, I did get it right. Spot on. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, look, that, that taxiway is a little bit of a bank as well. Both of them. Damn. 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 Yeah, I, I hope that... Um, well, we don't really know. I mean, the, the car is just rapid. Max is quick, so we'll see. It's just going to be another race with Verstappen winning, but I'm hoping that it will be enjoyable. I mean, the last, like, two or three races have been a little bit more exciting on F1. Um, we've obviously had uh, Monza with the Ferraris last week, um, and then we had Netherlands with the weather changes. So it wasn't... See, this guy's doing Unicom better than me. <laughs> He's just mastered Unicom. I literally just said I'm lining up 07 left, but I'm nowhere near 07 left. Uh, Razik, mate, welcome in. Hopefully you're well. Oh, gosh. Tilla just doesn't turn aircraft, but it's okay. Lewis fan, but Max is really good feel, uh, even if he wasn't a Red Bull hat. He's still, yeah, he's 100%. Max is a good dra racing driver. Um, most of the time. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I'm, uh, I've got, uh, I've got posters for Hamilton, Lando, and, uh, Charles Leclerc, so. I mean, I'm just any British driver, really, I support. I support everyone but Max Verstappen. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll stop here temporarily. We'll get our lights on, and then we'll line up. Makes a great racing driver, total prick, but good. Yeah, that, that's that's Dave summed it up right there. His attitude can be a little bit interesting sometimes, um, but he is decent at what he does. So you know, play say hi to Corey. Hi Corey, hopefully you're well. Chewy, a very good morning as well, Matt. Welcome, 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 Joel. Hopefully you're well, buddy. We didn't see you yesterday at Dubai, 
We didn't see you yesterday at Dubai. And Jakarta traffic at Indonesia 837 lining up and departing runway 03 left. 07 left. Close enough. Close enough. I've liked some stream that discusses F1. It might just be it might just get you a new follow up, mate. We uh we love Formula One and we love aviation in this channel. They're just like the perfect merge, honestly. Perfect merge. Hey, you, you followed as well, mate. Thank you so much, dude. Lord Gracious. Legend, mate. Pleasure to have you here. Pleasure to have you here. Um, just quite pe pe petulant. See, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know what the word petulant means, but we'll just go with it. Uh, right, flaps five. Uh, speed brake is not armed, which doesn't need to be. Landing lights, sorry, takeoff lights are on. Strobe is on as well. And uh, we are good to go. We should be good to go. Awesome. Right. Uh, okay. We will release manual brakes. We'll go up to 50%. Kenko Toga's in the chat, guys. Let's get out of here. I've paused the alerts as well. Chrono started 50%, uh, 57% stable. And we will go and set Toga. Thrust set. Let's go. Goodbye, fucking toasters. Oh, my God. There was a hole in the runway. Uh, 80 knots checked. You forgot something. This one? Maybe? I don't know. I've definitely forgot something else. It's fine. And V1 rotate. Whoa, that's spicily sensitive. Positive rate of climb gear up. We managed to save it so we didn't tail straight there. We got a bit of left hand, uh, left, uh, right hand turn in a moment. Left hand turn? I don't even know. I still prefer Bali, but Jakarta's gorgeous. Right. It's through 600. I don't know if we should be doing the left hand almost immediately, but... Again, we should really check charts for that. There's the Air Asia behind us. God, it's hazy in the distance, isn't it? It's 32 degrees down here. 19 knot winds, or 25 knot headwind we've got at the moment, so... I don't know what all them red and blue roofs are down there, though. I presume, like, business estate or something? Industrial area? There's the minimums. Oh, <laughs> that looks so good. I don't know what they've done with LOD in the beta, but I genuinely feel like there's a lot more buildings in the distance for this. I don't know. I, j I just feel like the sim just looks awesome. 2,500 feet. We'll continue that left-hand turn. The APU's turned off. Don't worry. The APU's turned off. Uh, petulant means I'm unre unreasonably irritable or ill-tempered. Peevish. Contempt. So basically acting like a kid. Okay. That makes sense. Thank you for the definition, super mega geek. I appreciate that. Good luck to uh, fucking toasters on the departure. There's a little bit of wind, but you should be alright. There's the livery, livery we're rocking as well today. I don't know if it's... I'm not really 100% sure with what the purpose of it is, but it looks really cool. Probably just trying to get in the nature in the aircraft, but it's a cool livery. Some skyscrapers poking through the haze in the distance as well. Awesome. Right, we're on our way to Singapore anyway. Uh, we'll keep speed 230 for in for a moment. We'll... Uh, and Jakarta traffic, uh, Indonesia 837, we're in the air, uh, 3,700 feet. Oh, <laughs> the unicorn's the quietest thing, and then somehow we both step on each other. I love it. I love it. Um, right, uh, panel brightness will turn off as well, so it looks a little bit more cozy. The sun is going to be setting, by the way. I don't know if how dark it will be when we get down to Singapore, but it will probably be setting, or if not set by the time we get there, but that's fine. Um, and then, yeah, there's the speed restriction gone up to 250. Gear to be off position, auto brake to the off position as well pretty much chilling for the moment as well any tips for a new microsoft flight sim simmer max um literally just get yourself in an aircraft and press buttons uh youtube youtube tutorials doing what you're doing now watching well th there's better streamers that know how to uh fly aircraft other than me but um you know any questions or if you don't know what like an ils is or something we can help you out just pretty much watching streamers watching youtube videos getting yourself i mean there's good the, the probably the a320 and neo by fly by wire is a good aircraft if as, as for freeware um i don't even know if you've got msfs but if you do then uh yeah, you, you would have a bunch of fun mate bunch of fun um i did uh, rev was probably on about the packs earlier by the way i uh, i knew about them we just on a packs off departure because i could i suppose uh initial climb whatever we'll, we'll go up to eight thousand feet i don't know what the transition is at jakarta um that's, uh, oh god, we don't even have the, hang on, have we not got the SID? Uh, it'll be 07 left on our departures, um, we're heading up this way, somewhere, so, transition altitude is 11,000 feet, I guess that's where we'll go to then. Doesn't look like there's a, 
Initial climb is just uh, above a thousand feet. But oh, you got to be above a thousand before you make the left hand turn. Oh, okay. Read charts before you take off, Ian. Um, <laughs> one one zero will climb up to now anyway. If we altitude intervene that as well, that should climb or level change it. Hopefully that climbs. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, giving Kenko described ILS as a fishing rod in the... No, no, it wasn't a fishing rod. It was a fishing... Right. You, Some of you will understand this. If, like... To explain an ILS, it's basically you're catching a fishing line in the air. So, basically, think of, like... I don't know, maybe like a, I don't know, a wire in the air that's like basically on the line where you should be following for the glide slope into the, the runway. You're just cap, you're just like grabbing that line and then following it all the way down. Does that not make sense? Maybe just me, I don't know. Probably like a really bad explanation, but there we go. Right, once we pass 10,000, we'll get all the lights off. But we are, we are chilling on our way. ETA is going to be probably about 20 past 12, give or take. Um, which is not actually too bad for, for what we're doing. Um... But yeah, out of out of uh, out of here. Fucking Toast has just departed as well. He's also off to Singapore. Um, it looks like someone's off to Wah. Is that towards like, is Wah like? I oh, know Wad is back uh, Bali. I'm not sure. Got a group flight going on here as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Nice. Not yet, Brad. <laughs> we could do Marvels, but not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Um, I need to do my cross the pond voting, which means absolutely nothing to you. Um, but if you guys haven't voted already, cross the pond voting is open for October. Um, you guys basically have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points to spend on uh, departing airports and arriving airports in Europe. So it's eastbound in October. So we're flying from America into Europe, which I think is the better cross the pond. If if you you know, I don't know. In my opinion, it's much better when it's eastbound. So. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, Max. Uh, Max? I've just called you Max, Matt. Um, close enough. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm i definitely not voting London Heathrow. <laughs> or JFK. Or any of whatever also pops up almost every single year. I always feel like Heathrow always gets like a fast track ticket anyway. Like, it, it just, for some reason, it, it's like the UK and Eurovision or whatever. Like, we, we're always going to be in it regardless. It's like the same with Heathrow and JFK. Everyone's always going to vote for them. Um, but there you go, off and the engines, uh, strobe's good as well, landing lights are off, we're through almost 10, uh, 11,000 feet, we'll carry on our climb and then we'll do the voting. Uh, 320 for the altitude, 320 all the way up, 320, perfect. Uh, altitude intervene as well, there you go. Amsterdam Fly Tampa, what do you reckon Fly Tampa would actually push the release though? See, I'm only voting. I'm only voting for Amsterdam. The problem is, ugh, I don't know. Amsterdam would be really cool, but only if the scenery's out. I'm not voting for it if the scenery's not going to be out because then it just, you know, it's not great. Um, when's cross the pond? I don't know the exact date. Um, although I can find out for you. There you go. October the 28th, the end of October. That will be a Saturday, I think. Normally, it's done through on a Saturday evening. Um, can you explain the ILS string thing like you did again, please? Well, basically think of like a string that's attached to the end of the runway and then it just follows the glide slope upwards on like the exact pappy two white, two red line. And then you your plane just kind of grabs the localizer and the glide slope on the ILS, which is this like where the line is, and then it follows it down. I don't know. It's probably better off looking at diagrams of an ILS on um on Google or something like that. Uh, they used to fast track the airports. Some airports were auto selected by Vatsim to stop users wasting votes on them. For some reason, Vatsim now don't. So they've gone backwards. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't really know. I'm not sure. Um, right, we'll get up to cruise, then we'll do the voting, if that's alright, guys. Because we've only got, like, another, like, five minutes before we go. I don't know. I don't really know. So what have they got, then? So the Americas, they've got Halifax, which would be, like, a very short cross the pond. Uh, Winnipeg, Toronto, uh, Atlanta, Boston, Charlotte, Kentucky, Indianapolis. See, I, before I do these voting, I need to make sure there's scenery for them. Because I don't really know where I'd want to go. MKJS, isn't that Marina Bay in Jamaica? That'll be a cool place to depart, I can't lie. Um, TNCM, St. Martin's going to win it probably as well. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, there's not... There's different ones. They always go for different ones, but I know that some of these airports without airport scenery will, will just not get not get picked, so... The plane is the coat... The coat hanger. Exactly, exactly. Super Mega Geek understands what I'm on about. It's literally the coat hanger going down a zipline. Exactly. Exactly. It's so true. So true. 
Um, St. Martin would be awesome. It's actually more like a cone instead of a line, because the closer you get to the runway, the more sensitive the ILS becomes. Ah, there you go. You're improving my analogy. That is very true, actually, yeah, because on the, uh, when you're actually at the pinpoint bit is obviously, yeah, where you've got to be the most accurate for it. TNCM's going to be cooked. There's not enough stands at TNCM. I don't know how they do. Uh, maybe they just don't do many slots at St. Martin, but, yeah. Um... I mean, what the problem is, St. Saint Martin is good, but I feel like, you know, you've either got Amsterdam or Paris as chartered flights. I mean, St. Martin to Amsterdam would be an absolute vibe for Cross the Pond, don't get me wrong, in a KLM something or other. But is Flytampa Amsterdam going to be out? I don't know. So, you had 90 seconds of advert just as you started that. Sorry, Ricky. Wait, is it actually... See, you, I literally disabled this the other day. I don't know what Twitch are doing. Bear with me. I'm going to turn it off again. Is it even... Oh, sorry. Bear with me. Um, basically, someone improved it. It's basically a cone. Um, so, yeah, you just grab... You grab, like, the localizer and ILS. So, you see down here, basically, there'll be two diamonds. One here and one here. And if you've got to basically match them up, and then you're basically on the exact perfect glide slope for the runway. Basically means you catch, like, a fishing line or you're, you're within... I don't know. There, there'll be a diagram. Let me show you. Hang on. ILS, uh, ILS diagram. Let me show you. I away. So I don't really know how 100% how an ILS freak, how ILS works, but I mean, this might explain it. I don't know. It's just a a path that your plane follows when you want to land, basically. Every every runway, I mean, not every runway has an ILS, but the ILS is just basically this little bit. Oh, that that. I don't know. Yeah, the ILS component providing it is the is like you you see you'll see it if you go to an airport. ILS localizer. You should get pictures of it, maybe. Yeah, these these guys these guys. Oh, didn't mean to open that. Um, Cancun for cross the pond. You can do more flights from there. Yeah, Cancun's a good one. Um. We'll get this back open for a second. Charlie, hello. Let me unpause my alerts. It will come through. Charlie, thank you so much for your 19 months. I hope it unpauses. Uh-oh. There we go. Le better late than never. Better late than never. He's trolling, though. 19 freaking months, Charlie. That's, uh, that's a year and a half plus one, I think. Insane. Thank you so much. Charlie, you, you've been following since 2019, haven't you? My 2020. There you go. Thank you so much, Charlie. Mate, I, I could literally do with, like, an ice bath right now. It's not that hot, but it's just humid. Thank you so much. Guys, if you're a sub, please can we get some uh, lovely, uh, like, Genko Love GGs for Charlie. Thank you so much for your 19 months, mate. Welcome back. And, um, yeah, I appreciate that, Charlie. Thank you. Free subs for the day, or third sub for the day. Thank you so much, Charlie. Freaking legend, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... Right, what we'll do then, if we do the voting, so... I mean, St. Martin is a good idea, but we can only fly to Paris or Amsterdam. Or we could just make up a flight, so it's not the end of the world. Um, I'm, I refuse to use any of the common ones that's always in there. We'll do... Hang on, why don't we do our third best first? Let's, let's, let's work our way backwards. So we'll hand out the lower points, and then we'll hand out the higher points. I think I'm logged in. I am logged in. Awesome. Okay. So, out of these lot, what is kind of... I mean, what are we thinking, really? I mean... Again, I think, what if we, hang on, well, the Jamaica, is this Montego Bay, is that, hang on, is Montego Bay, uh, MKJS, is that Montego Bay? Yes, okay. So Montego Bay, you've got a few more options, we've got Heathrow, Amsterdam, Dusseldorf, Frankfurt, obviously these need to be in Cross the Pond as well, but there's a new Verona scenery actually. Montego Bay to Verona's a bit of an odd one though. What airline does that? Neos. What? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Version Atlantic. So I don't know what I'd fly. It would have to be the, either the Kuro or the 747. I don't know if I'd trust the 747 in... um. I don't know if I would trust the 747 in... um. across the pond though i mean it is much better with the asobo update it is much much better with the asobo update give me a pre-seam for check and see if we can update 1080 for 2060 or oh, wait that good upgrades just to make sure you don't bottleneck um your pc though 
Like you say, if you upgrade your graphics card, make sure your CPU is basically as powerful as your GPU. I've made that mistake in the past, Max. But yeah, no worries. We chill, mate. This is what we do here. We chill. We chill. We chill. We chill. We chill. We chill. Yeah, state tricks, mate. 100%. There's nothing to be worried about. It's um, it's very easy. You, you just have to make sure you're applying for a slot and you get your slot. New f 787s their cool sign is Moonflower. Ooh. Is it just the default Airbus one? Oh, no. They're actually called Neos. So we could fly this from Jamaica to Verona. I mean, that's not a bad shout. I can't lie. That's kind of a vibe. But I feel like them airport, I, it would still be good. Do you know what? I might, Montego Bay might be my, like, second, second. I'm going to put Montego Bay as my second choice. Oh, bugger, I've just changed it. Right, Montego Bay for my second. My third choice... Ones that aren't really picked very often. Um, I mean, St. Martin's going to win it anyway. I feel I feel like I don't need to give any points to St. Martin, but I don't know. I don't know. A Tui ripoff. It does, doesn't it? It looks like the Audi version of Tui or... Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> it's like when you go on holiday to like a supermarket and it's like... It just doesn't look like your Sainsbury's or your Tesco, does it? It's basically that situation. Um... I have to learn how to... Oh, no, you don't... Say tricks, so you just file a thing online, mate. You don't need to give Oceanic... Or you do need to give Oceanic clearance, but you just have to file a web page, um, like nats.vatsim.net or something. You'll get explained it. You'll see it. send an email with everything. Uh, Headwind A330 is an option, but I have not flown it before. I'm not sure if I would trust it, really. But, I mean, there's nothing... I'm not... There's nothing stopping me. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't know what to give my third... Uh, my, like, third place to, really. Halif has Halifax been done before and crossed the pond? I mean, Halifax would make such a short... The problem is, Halifax is good, but it'll make you such a short cross the pond. Hmm. Maybe we'll give it to St. Martin. I mean, if Amsterdam is out in time, it would be cool to do St. Martin to Amsterdam, but only if flight Amper... I mean, them slots are going to be taken up so quickly. And we'll... I mean, to be fair, it's such a default kind of flight, though, isn't it? St. Martin to Amsterdam. But we haven't done it for ages, so it would be good to do four cross the pond as well. That would be a... That would be awesome. Um, the LD brand of two, exactly, exactly. You run a 3080 with a Ryzen 3600, I live and breathe bottlenecked. 30, uh. I don't, I don't know how old a Ryzen 3600 is, fucking toasters. I'm not sure. I used to have a 6700, then I upgraded to a 7950X or something. But, 3600, I think I used to have a 3600, like, I don't want to say it, but like, seven years ago. I'm pretty sure I had one of these. I don't know when it came out, though, but I'm pretty sure I had one. Could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, right, okay. We'll go with St. Martin as our third third best. Second best will be uh, Montego Bay. So both the Caribbean are our number one choice. Um, <laughs> now we need to find a better airport than St. Martin and Montego Bay. Probably go for one of the big inland ones. Louisville... Orlando would be good, although tax is it taxi to get Orlando? I think that there's there is good scenery for Orlando now, isn't there? I see Cape Town across the pond. Where would you fly from where? For Cape Town, uh this website's really, really good for you. Um if I click Cape Town. So America, you've either got New York, Washington, Atlanta, or Sao Paulo. There obviously is more routes. This is just the the the, the passenger ones. Um there could be cargo routes that you guys could do across the pond. There's many, many options you can do. Um, why is there an airport called 4th of February? FN Lou. What? Is it French? No, it's in... <laughs> it's in Angola. <laughs> interesting. Very Interesting. There must be some history behind the date of that. It might be significant for Angola or something. Um, Atlanta's where you got female ATC. Uh, yep, that's where my... That's where my uh, I'm not a simp. Um, <laughs> no. Um, we done Atlanta anyway. I don't want to vote Atlanta. We done it literally last year. Uh, Indianapolis. Cincinnati. 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 Are you driving on Saturday? No, I'm commentating and streaming it. I've got all the uh, all the graphics sorted out, Charlie. I'll give you a little hint. Look at this. Oh, no, that didn't work. Sorry. Oh, that's the hint you're getting. 
<laughs> it does work, but I need SimHub open. I need SimHub open for all of the um, all the overlays and stuff. Um, you have a face under two. Thinking about yeah, get the upgrades, guys. Get the upgrades. Right. Okay, we'll go with. Uh, we need to probably do this. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Toronto. We've already done a nice long haul to Dubai yesterday. I might, I might push, I don't know, Montego Bay's a vibe though, man. Montego's Bay like proper holiday Caribbean. I might, I might push Montego Bay up to number, I know it's weird, but you've got to be weird with these voting. I might push Montego Bay up and then follow it with St. Martin. And then we just give our set two points to like Orlando because taxi to get Orlando. Should we do that? Let's do that. Let's do that. Right, okay, then we'll worry about our arrival airport. So we've got a basis off these ones. So Amsterdam, I'm going to give middle points to. I would give it all points, but we don't know if flight time for Amsterdam is actually going to be out yet. Um, Verona, see, Verona's never been done before. Although Verona, oh, Verona's not even here. Uh, so we can't even do this, guys, because Verona's not even an airport on her. Um, Rome's always done. Vienna's always done. Belgrade, there is a really good Belgrade scenery right now. Um, Vanta. Vote for Silt. Silt. Are these just your locals? <laughs> um, Belgrade's in Serbia though, isn't it? That'll be a long flight. We have to base it off where... If I've chose... Right, if I've chose Montego Bay, you've got... I mean, it's got to be Amsterdam. Brussels... So it doesn't really matter. I mean, if the flights don't exist in real life, we can make them exist, can't we? But yeah, definitely three points to Amsterdam. Because Amsterdam haven't had any traffic, haven't had any, like, VATSIM or whatever for the last few years. Like, it's been very, um... Because there's no scenery for it. Um, and it would encourage Flight Amber to release it as well. Helsinki. I done Helsinki last year, though, for Across the Pond. I don't really want to vote for it again, because I don't really want to fly there. Unfortunately. Bum, bum. Didn't Goalie ask me to vote for Atlanta? Orlando, even. Stockholm. Yeah, I don't know if I should have... I feel like avoiding Scandinavia, though. We've done... For previous Cross the Ponds, we've done Helsinki. We've done... I think Oslo one year. Obviously, we've done Flyzy Santa and Rovniemi. I don't know. I feel like we should leave the Scandinavian countries, but... They'll probably win anyway. Frankfurt, there's no good scenery for it. Brussels, there is good scenery. Brussels is a really good scenery, though. Brussels is a really good scenery. You voted LYBE, Frankfurt, and Vienna. Okay. I might give it to Belgrade, but Belgrade wouldn't really work from the places that I voted for the airport departures. 1,000 feet to go on our flight, guys. 1,000 feet to go. ETA is now 4 minutes past 12. That's not too bad at all, actually. That is not bad, too bad at all. Fucking Dosters is just behind me as well. 27,000 feet. Very nice. Right, let's just get these voters done. Um, Let's do Brussels, Amsterdam. Brussels is kind of... Brussels is a good scenery, man. F4 tie. Oh, Max, what track is it? I'll be your spotter later, maybe. I think I had a look earlier. I think it's from memory. It's Monza. But that might be a different tournament. I'm not sure. Coming up again. Vienna. Belgrade. No, let's do, let's do Belgrade. We'll do Brussels, Amsterdam, Belgrade. There you go. Oh, Oklahoma. Nice. Oh, you've waited a long time for this, though, to be fair. Right, we'll submit that. We'll submit our vote. You cannot. Oh, you cannot. You can change your voting though. I didn't know you could change your voting. There is definitely an F4 championship at Oklahoma though, Max. I think. I don't know. Best of luck if you are just doing it or if you're like test driving. Bum, bum, bum. Is that the Delara F4? I think it's the Delara. Well, there you go. Cross the bomb voting has been done and dusted. We could do marbles if you guys want. I mean, I'm kind of going to enjoy the scenery though for like a little bit. Not Oklahoma. OK Armor. I don't know, mate. I've got no idea. Where the hell is OK Armor? Is it in Japan? Oh, it's the Japanese one. Okay.
Looks fun. Looks very good fun. Sun comes up. Yeah, Oklahoma's in America, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, smoke. I spent two hours on Sunday to analyze telemetry data of Max and my lap to see where I lose time. I'm getting desperate. Oh my god, Charlie. <laughs> you guys better be scared on Saturday. That's ridiculous. What, on his time trial lap or something, Charlie? Damn. The overlays are almost done for uh, KF1, by the way. Do I do the... In I think I should still do the intros for it, though. With, like, the... Uh Careful one. I'm going to stream the race for number one on Saturday after uh, Saturday evening on this channel. And then I think we'll do our future ones on Kenko F1. But, um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, the calendar, I think there's, there's, it's back to back for, so it's back, back to back for Spain and Qatar. Um, and then we've got a week break and then it's Canada. And then it's a two week, no, a one week break again, I think. Seventh. Yeah. And then another, so it's, Back to back, Spain, Qatar, one week break, Canada, one week break, Belgium, Singapore, one week break, Britain, Australia, Austria, one week break, Japan, Abu Dhabi. So there's there's a few little breaks we've got in the calendar. So Canada's kind of on its own, really, with like missing out on, but it gives you time to reset and I suppose practice for the future ones. But yeah, should be good. Should be good fun. Should be a good fun indeed. I'm looking forward to it. One tenth closer to you, just uh, now it's just 0 0.5 seconds. Just half a tenth, Charlie, just half a tenth. Around Barcelona, I mean. if Yeah, but if you lose half a tenth for every lap, Charlie, that basically means that you're just going to lose. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sure you're trying your best. I'm sure you're trying the best. Oh, man. I had to do some F1 streams. I mean, Kenko Motorsports is kind of down the drain at the moment. I can't lie. It's kind of down the drain, but... Begin. Bum, 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 bum. No, I want to do my F1 streams. I do. But I just don't know. I'm not good at it. That's the problem. I'm going to do ETS 2 as well. I'm, um... I let you guys know this now because I know there's not many of you here. Basically, I want to do, like, a week... I want to basically bring back Squirrel Sunday Night Trucking, but I don't know whether to do it on Sunday nights. So, basically, we just... It will be single player. It won't be multiplayer because there's so many mods that I've got for ETS 2 um that just make it so much more exciting there's so many trailers and stuff you can do just a, like a one-off kind of one day a week even if it's one day every two weeks um of us just like building up a, like a legit career profile of like earning money and stuff i think would be really good and we can do the overlay for it as well with like a like destination and like where we're leaving and stuff with like london to like edinburgh or something i think it'd be really good i think it'd be really good i'm hoping i can brief him on uh on my time i just struggle with race pace I know someone else who struggles with race pace, but I'm not going to bring it up. <laughs> uh, he races for Red Bull this year. Uh, I think it's strategy. I wouldn't say it's race pace, actually. I would say it's strategy. I'd say it's strategy. But, yeah. Nah, I don't know who's going to win. I've got no idea. I'm a Pepega in a uh, quali, but at least I'm decent in the race. Yeah, to be fair, Charlie, you've got a good point. Actually, you're the opposite of uh, of quite a few people. You're very good. You're very good at consistent. You're very consistent. You're very consistent. DJ Clonk, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Do a barrel roll? Absolutely not. I don't even think this thing can do a barrel roll unless I disable the ideas or the ideas, whatever they're called. But yeah, no, uh, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, we are chilling. We are chilling. We are chilling. Top of descent in 160, 170 nautical miles. We can do. Do you, do you want to do? One, we can do one game of marbles. Why not? We'll do. We'll, we won't overhaul cruise with marbles, but we'll do, at least do one game with it. Bear with me two seconds. Let me get marbles open. It can. I did one in the seven three. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Is this why you buy aircraft? I mean, I haven't actually attempted a barrel in a very long time, but not on a flight like this. We're on Vatsim as well, so. Probably not for the best idea. Right, let's go on to race. Um, we'll do one that isn't like the longest marbles. Three minutes twenty. Absolutely not. Um, I did mine on Vats. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I've crashed on Vats quite a few times, but um, don't give me that. Fire. Don't give me that. Fire. We'll do. Marble Diner? No. On the felt. I think On the Felt's a good one. Yeah, Brad, I'm probably only going to do one anyway. Is there, is there a Catalina Grand Prix in Marbles? 
<laughs> there should be F1 tracks in marbles. There really should be. Right, exclamation mark play, guys. I'll give you two minutes to get your marble in. Exclamation mark play. Um, this is a... It looks like a roulette table or something. I don't know. It's some, like, gambling one. I'm not too sure. On the felt is what it's called. On the felt. Uh, Lenny is the best London controller, I swear. Lenny. Never heard of Lenny, but I'm sure he's a good guy. I'm sure he's a good guy. Um... Right, one minute thirty. I'm gonna take. Uh, actually, no, I won't take a bio break now. I'll do. I, I'll just. I'll just stay here. It's fine. Two minutes. Wait, when's your meeting, Brad? Did you say half eleven? Oh, it is. Oh my god, it's at half eleven. You'll be fine. Don't worry. You'll be fine, mate. You'll be fine. There's a direct. So there. That's direct. Is far out of my sector. It's three countries away, Lenny. I direct is so far my sector. Oh, oh, okay. That's quite funny. That's quite sarcastic. I love directs though. Free country. Yeah, but so wait, he directed someone to like the middle of Europe. <laughs> don't blame him, really. Really, don't blame him whatsoever. That's quite funny. That's quite funny. Teardrops on the dance floor. Ba, 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 ba. Dommy's got himself in. Can we get ten people? I know, I know it's early morning on a Tuesday, but is there one more person? Maybe. Is DJ Clonk done it? He hasn't. DJ Clonk, exclamation mark. Oh, no, he is in. Disregard. He is in. Fucking toasters. There we go. There we go. Pilot asked for a direct, and he just said that. I mean, I, I, I don't blame him. I mean, he, he literally, he, he got what he asked for. It was literally. I mean, he probably shaved off like 20 minutes of the flight time, to be honest. Mine ups on the dance floor. Tear jumps on the dance floor. Mm, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do tonight, but um, it might be more flight sim. It may be. I'll see what I feel like. I'll see what I feel like. I probably spoke to Lenny before, actually. I probably spoke to Lenny before. Coltinio's in as well. Let's go. Let's go. See, there's less of you in the marbles race. So, I think Fred has just missed out. Um, There's less of you in the mar marbles race, which gives uh m Brad a higher chance of winning. So... Although he's last. <laughs> uh, Wyve is in the lead. I don't know if Wyve is one last, one last time, actually. I'm not too sure. I, I'm If I win, it's rigged. Dommy, why is Dommy pink? Is that because you're a founder? I would assume that's because you're a founder. I'm not sure. Where's Brad? Oh. <laughs> nice. Well, maybe just go into your meeting, Brad. It might be best. You're not going to win. I'll be surprised. If you win this, that'll be a miracle. Oh, you didn't win. You had it stolen last time. Oh, look, Kenko's in the lead. Let's go. Let's go. To be fair, DJ Klonk is looking like he's in the last at the moment. Domi's going to overtake me. School map. Does it actually look like felt? Oh, it is kind of like felt, isn't it? It's kind of cool. We'll see who uh, who appears first. Kenko currently is in first, followed by Wyvis. Domi Charlie. Five pound if you make mine win. <laughs> I got a minute. Let me just pull up the code. Cap, 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 cap. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. To be honest, finish lasting a race between 11 people is quite impressive. Yeah, you're still last by a long shot as well. I know Coutinho might have got stuck a little bit. Supposed to be living young and wild and free. <gasps> Why visit your chance to shine, mate? Oh. I spoke too soon. Go on, Dommy. <laughs> you just got robbed again, mate. <laughs> that is harsh, man. That is harsh. Dommy just hit into you and then, yeah. I came third. Aaron done better than yesterday. Fucking toasters came in fourth. The jinx is unreal. Not like this. Jack's going to overtake Charlie. It's to the line. Charlie comes in sixth. Very close to Jack in seventh. That's what it's going to be like in Barcelona, Charlie. Brad done well though. He recovered. He came eighth. Oh, I really hope that the uh, the Spanish Grand Prix is actually like not dead. It should be fun though. It should, it should be fun. Well done, Dommy. Your first win on marbles, I think. If he's not winning Geotastic or Geo Guesser, it's marbles, isn't it? Damn. Eighty six points for you, Dommy. Why has got only sixteen for that win? I think you guys get more points the more people the more people that's in the marbles game. If that makes sense. But Brad, if there's any consolation, you've got the second most amount of points in the, in the in here at the moment. So that's not too bad. Solid recovery, yeah. Good comeback, good comeback. Not bad. Right, I'm going to come off my balls because I can. 
And I'm going to go take a quick bye break. I'll be back in a moment. Um, we're at Flight of All 320. We're chilling 106 nautical miles to go, and then we'll start descent. Uh, we're landing in an hour in 30, like, two minutes. So not too, not too far uh, to go at all. I'll be right back. And also this song, I love you, Snoop Dogg, but no, there's better songs than this. I'm sorry. Like a river. Right. I'll be right back, guys. Two seconds. I will uh, give you a lovely view of the, the sunset is going to be. Oh, what's going on here? What the hell? Hang on. Camera's all over the place. Ah, it's lock mode. There you go. Do, do. Right. B R B. There you go. Gorgeous. Right. BRB. Two sex. Hello, 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 hello. Look at that. Perfect timing to come back. My laptop's still charging. It's been charging for like two hours. It was on 1% battery, to be fair. Which explains why. Bah, bah, bah. Right. Perfect. We're going to be landing bang on sunset. So I don't think we've got any air traffic control, unfortunately, for uh, Singapore. But it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Um... Let's have a look at the Meta. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, meta WSSS. Let's have a look. 120... No, correction. 1705 knots. 20... What are we going to go with? Why is there lines all over the runway? Is runway 20 centre closed? Construction area. Oh, shit, it is. DJ Clonk, hello. Again. I guess we can't land 2-0. We're going to have to land 2-0 right then. 2-0 left will be the longest taxi ever. Send it. Oh, Welcome I'm slow. Back. Apparently, I've been subbed for two months before, but hi. I'm not really <laughs> active on Twitch, but oh well. But it's fine. You're sharing your Prime with me. DJ Clonk, thank you so much. Two months, Twitch Prime. Welcome back. Apparently, I've been subbed for two months before, but hi. You were probably gifted... I don't know. Maybe you subbed your Prime back in the day, or you were gifted a sub at some point by somebody. Welcome back, though, buddy. It's good to have you here. And now you've got the shiny little K behind, beside your name for a month. So what more could you possibly want other than loads of koala berry moats, right? It's the, be it's the best thing on Twitch. Thank you so much, Judy. Freaking legend. Thank you for your Twitch Prime. Um, I never knew Centre has been closed for ages, but we'll do 2-0 right for a landing. Um, I'll just double-check that's actually programmed in. So, uh, menu, arrival into WSS, 2-0 right. 
Um, and that will be via do, 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 do. Delta 2 Bravo. Delta 2 Bravo. They opened the southern runways for events, if I recall correctly. Pretty cool. Oh, okay. What do you mean? Of, oh, oh, as in you mean that sim events, not events in real life. That would be a bit weird. Uh, two zero. Oh, we have actually got two zero, right? Reap of one Bravo. Reap of one Bravo from two zero, right? Do we have the Ipnak transition? I could do some knickknacks right now. No, we probably don't have the transition. Okay. We'll execute that in. Have a quick gander. Oh, no, it's Garuda. Never mind. They barely use two zero left in real life anyway. Yeah, probably because it just. Planes probably get annoyed because it burns so much fuel anyway. It burns so much. Right, let me quickly scan through. Step, 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 step. Perfect. Okay. We'll clear the. Oh, wait, hang on. We. Is it the Idvast transition? Bear with me. We might be right at the Ipnak. Wait, hang on. Let me just put the transition. Let me put the transition in anyway. It's probably not going to look right. Oh, no, it has. It is the Ipnak. There you go. Okay, that's even better. Calm. Bang. Execute. There you go. Sweet, 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 sweet. Awesome. Right, let's go back to the map screen as well. Awesome. Right, we'll just chill for a little bit. We've got top of the in, what, 100 nautical miles? Literally 100, just uh, 90 odd now. Um, center pumps can be turned off. Fuel check, 5.4 tons. We're going to have 5.5 when we get down to our destination. Oh no, 4.3. Sorry, I can't read. 5.5 is currently what we've got. And we've got top descent in 113 nautical miles. 10.51 zoos. Top of descent in like 15 minutes. We can open predictions though for half an hour um, with the channel points. Feel so special. I'll give you guys 20 minutes just because for half an hour is kind of pushing it for actually landing. Um, and then we'll do... Oh yeah, predictions already been opened for landing as well. There you go. If you're able to find flights to fly, go on to Flight Radar 24 Selecting Airport. You want to fly off? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I also do, uh, on Flight Radar 24, I also do, you can also search the airline, and then you can search the reg. So if I, ch if I just search Virgin Atlantic, right, just an example, click Show Fleet, and then it will show you your aircraft, and if I choose the 789 and just choose some of these aircraft, you can see exactly what flights they've done for a certain type of aircraft in a certain livery. It's pretty useful. So I can see the, this maybe like Mumbai, Delhi... Uh, Los Angeles, Shanghai, and then as soon as you click on play, let's just do London to Miami, it gives you all the information you need. So, it's pretty cool. But yeah, I, I mean, you can search, obviously, you know, the airport and then the route if you want to fly out of an airport. If you want to fly a certain airline, you suppose you've got, you can go that way as well. Um, I guess the other option is, is if I chose, like, EGLL, I'm pretty sure you, this is the one that you were on about, I think, if I go on more. I'm pretty sure you go routes, and then yeah, then you can see all the airports that Heathrow fly to, which is basically the entire world. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Fucking toasters, how's your flight going, mate? In your Air Asia A320. So this is also, I mean, you've got this, or you've got, I think, pretty much flight flight connection gathers data from Flight Radar 24 anyway. So if I choose London Heathrow, I'm very sure that. The like this is very similar to this because it updates in like current time, so I'm very sure they're very similar. Because if I if I zoom into Ukraine, there's no, you know, normally there'll be flights in and out of Ukraine, right? But it's empty because it's just updated from like live time, basically. Bing chilling, I love. Oh my god, that is. Wait, are you eating bread? That is such a. Oh my god, your emotes are so freaking cute. They're so cool. Pet re pog. Wait, I love them. They are so smart as well. That is amazing. Yeah, flight collection is all right, but it just annoys me with the amount of adverts you get for it. That's the only problem. It's the only problem. But there we go. There we go. Oh, baby. Yeah, baby. Love it. I do want to go to somewhere in Asia at some point. I don't really think China would really, really be that good. I don't know. China, Hong Kong, meh. Indonesia is probably like quite cool if you're like, you know, like exploring nature, I suppose. Oh my god, they've got an interior. Didn't even realize. No, no, I'm good. 78 Terrace Melius site, Indonesia, Meiju. Do they have little 
Welcome on board, Garuda Indonesia. That's sick. Love it. This sim this this livery, by the way, came out like twenty hours ago, so it's very very fresh. Very very fresh. Uh, I've not flown to Centena Centani, no. No, Papu's amazing to fly. Are these just other places in Singapore you're reading out, or is this just places in Indonesia? I can show you what I've done in Indonesia if I go on Alvatex and click flights here. Um, this is all I've done. So one stream we done, uh, what was it, Wato to Bali, then Bali up to Jakarta. And then now we're doing Jakarta up to Singapore. We've done Kuching, we've done Fuck It, we've done Bangkok, Hanoi. Obviously we were around Hong Kong quite a bit last week. Um, haven't really touched Papua New Guinea. Australia's kind of ditched a lot of as well. I'm waiting for Gold Coast by Orbex to come out. That one's going to be really good, I think. Um, Gold Coast Orbex is going to be good. Obviously, Brisbane's a good scenery. Sydney, Melbourne. Perth, I barely touch, but it's because it's in the middle of nowhere. Um, but, yeah. Loads of places I can fly to. I mean, a majority of my flights, as you can see, is done in Europe. Um, a lot of... Uh, wow. <laughs> I see what's got on here. When we port right, when we ported over um the flights from Volanta, it's decided to port them into Southampton, but Southampton in America and Bristol, but Bristol in America. How do I change that? That's not good. It's quite it's quite amusing actually. <laughs> we obviously just like this random CPF seven Southampton airport in America, don't we? I've got no idea how to change that. Uh, this app's called Alvatex. Yeah, uh, I think it's in public. I would say public beta, private beta. You can just apply for it, and I think you just get accepted. But it's been freedomed. Exactly, exactly. Nah, some of these long hauls are really good though. Dubai to Sydney, Dubai to Auckland. When do we do Dubai to Auckland? Twenty twenty one. Landing rate of one hundred and sixty feet per minute into Auckland. We flew a... What was that? That was the, the 10th of 07. July. The 10th of July. We flew this. It was a Boeing 777. An Emirates 777 from Dubai to Auckland. Jesus, man. 7,800 nautical miles. That's a long haul. London, Perth. When it uh, hasn't been done, apparently. I'm pretty sure I've done London to Perth, but apparently it hasn't been done. We've done London. Oh, we haven't done London, actually. Maybe I didn't record it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Did you know Emirates send their FIA to Bali now? No way. Wait, do you li wait, fucking toasters. When you say spot one, are you, do you do you live in Bali? Or Meow. My god, we're almost on we're almost on top of the scent. It's flown by. We're literally landing in twenty minutes. Way home. Bam, 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 a long way home. Uh, still working it out. Make a long way home. Bam, 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 na, 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 Is that such an easy vacation spot? You live in Jakarta, but fly to Bali pretty often. And the flight is cheap for that kind of thing. I mean, if if we were... I, obviously, I'm in the UK. If I was to fly into Bali, it would cost a fortune. It would cost an absolute fortune. Um, I think it's like probably a thousand pound for the flight just to Bali. But then I think when you get to Bali, it's quite cheap. So, yeah. Um, I'm just using my standard webcam. There is some free... I don't know what the name of it, 7 Super Mega Geek, is. There is some freeware software you can use with a webcam. It's not the best... But it, like, finds pointers in your face and then tracks it. Um, it's nowhere near as good as Toby or T Track IR. Um, I use Toby Eye Tracker, though. I'm us currently using this guy right here. Um, it's very expensive, though. That's the problem. Um, so this basically is what sits at the bottom of my monitor. I don't need any, like, software. I don't need any hardware on my headset. It just literally tracks my eyes and tracks my face. But there is software that uses your webcam for free. Um, Google it, find out about it. I don't know. One of my mates used to use it for like F1, but 280 quid is ridiculous money. There you go. DJ Klonk's got one. 
Yeah, I mean, Flight Sim is expensive enough, dude. I think it works for every everything, though. Send it over, send it over. I love to get into the long haul Heathrow to Johannesburg or Cape Town, what I love to do. Yeah. There's good Johannesburg scenery, actually, for MSFS now, I think. If I go on Google My Maps, hang on. My Maps, let's have a quick look. Home. Take a long way home. Yeah. Uh, no, that's... Wait, where's Johannesburg? Yeah, it is that one, isn't it? Oh, well, Tambo, yeah. Gaffer Sims done good Johannesburg. And then Cape Town's Aerosoft or FSDT. They're brilliant. I mean, South Africa is a good place. It's just in the middle of nowhere. You need to do long hauls in South Africa. Unless you do some sort of domestic in Africa. But there's just so sporadic. There's not much ATC. There's not much. It's just in the middle of nowhere, really. In the middle of nowhere. But yeah, got some good friends at South Africa. So they, uh, they always hook us up with ATC, which is good. Unless you fly out of somewhere else, in which case it's not not best, but... Sweet. Right, top of descent in 14 autonomous. We've pretty much done everything we need to for descent. Um, overhead's looking good. We'll probably just get the engines to continuous. Landing altitude is 22 feet at uh, Singapore, so it's not that bad. Um, we'll watch fucking toasters as well, I think... He's quite far behind, but by the time we get to stand, you should pretty much be on final anyway. What have you got? 250 nautical miles. I've got... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Bum, bum. I'm still so happy with yesterday's flight, though. Toronto to freaking Dubai, man. We absolutely butted it into Dubai. Well, we had this gorgeous... Uh, if you didn't tune into yesterday's VOD, by the way, give it a watch. 152 feet per minute, 1.1 Gs. I don't know how off the touchdown zone that was. Nah. It was still in the touchdown zone, but just a little bit far down. But it's fine. The runway is four kilometers. Um, what's... Oh, that that's keeping sim time. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, it was really good fun. There was someone coming in on final in the opposite direction. But we really wanted to fly like, flying over the land. But we did that. And then, yeah, really good. What was it? 12 hours, 5 minutes flight time. It's brilliant. I really want to do one of those a week if I can. Use open track and AI traffic, for, uh, AI track for DCS. It's probably slightly different for DCS, but should be around the same as yours. There you go. There you go. Yeah, D you need... I Honestly, I, I would not be able to fly DCS without a head tracker or eye tracker. I genuinely wouldn't. I genuinely wouldn't. Does anyone know a good way of cleaning Legos? Do you just have to use, like, a paintbrush on them? Honestly, all of my Legos are so dusty. I don't know. I'm not sure. I picked up this one yesterday. Um from my cabinet all over my side and it is just full of dust maybe you can get like a compressed air can on it maybe that's probably best just full of that it's full of that i always send you a whisper with blink. uh you should remain there you go yeah i mean i don't use the eye tracking i just use the head tracking but i uh, i need to update dcs but i just haven't really been bothered i don't know i feel like if i update dsx dss dcs so yeah i'll uh, i'll play it for like a week and then just not play it again so Lego, not Legos. The plural of Lego is Lego. Sorry. 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 DCS is wicked, yeah. I uh, I have the F-16, the F-14, and the Spitfire, and the Apache on it. Yeah. It's like sheep. You don't really say sheeps, do you? Because the plural of sheep is sheep. Plural of Lego is Lego. Yeah, that I suppose it's a company name, isn't it? Yeah. That's true. That's very true. You need to try the F eighteen. Oh yeah, I've got the F. Uh, I didn't mean F. I didn't mean F sixteen. F eighteen. I don't know. What have I got? I need to update my website. But uh, other DCS world. Wait, why do I have a WhatsApp? I've got six WhatsApps. Oh, I've just opened them. No. Oh. Stand by. When you open a message on WhatsApp, it gives you a read receipt. F-18, F-16, and uh, Apache. There you go. That's what I have. And the super carrier. Super carrier is a massive dub. Massive dub. The plural of fish is fish, unless you're talking about a plurality of breeds as type of fish, in which case it's fishes. English, though, mate. It makes no sense. English makes no sense as a language. I'm so glad I was brought up in a country of English, because I would not be able to learn it. I, I don't even know a word in French, anyway. Hang on. Right. Calm. 
send and don't open up any more messages until after stream. <laughs> Oops. Calm. Calm, calm, calm. Uh, DCS stream when you guys wouldn't really want a DCS stream, would you? I don't know. I can fly jets into super. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't know what to do with a DCS stream. I would have to have some sort of mission or I'd have some sort of mates online for it. Um, DCS Cold War is 100 times better than modern stuff. It's just so much more fun. No idea what DCS Cold War is. Type of aircraft or camp? Oh, it's a campaign, maybe? Oh, Cold War. I don't want to put server. You just blow stuff up. Oh, what? You mean I could just blow stuff? Yeah. But then if you want to see that, I mean, there's better DCS streamers, though. I'll be a noob at DCS. The persistent multiplayer server. Oh, okay. Is it just like 1v1 uh, dogfights and stuff? I used to love War Thunder, if any of you guys ever played War Thunder. World of Tanks, War Thunder, World of Warships? No. I forgot what it's called. World of, it is World of Warships, isn't it? World of Warships, yeah. I love, mate, Aaron, I've got so many hours on World of uh, on War Thunder. Do you want to have a look at my profile? Hang on, if I go games. Me, do you got me? Twenty one thousand, I know twenty one hundred hours on MSFS. Fifteen hundred, uh, fifteen hundred on X Plane, CS:GO, Armor Free, ETS Two, War Thunder. There you go. Three hundred seventy one hours on War Thunder. You got War Thunder. It great. I haven't played it. Last played uh, November twenty twenty, so nearly three years ago. I last played it. World of Tanks are good. I've got a good friend um, who plays World of Tanks, Max Gaming FPS. You might have seen him. He 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 does really well on Twitch and YouTube. So yeah, he loves World of Tanks. But yeah, I play a lot of games, a lot. ETS two, I mate. Honestly, nearly five hundred hours on ETS two. Mental, mental. I love ETS. I'm a free CS go. Yeah. Is CSGO 2 going to be a different, like, game on Steam? How does it work? Is it, like, counter... No, I don't know how to get CSGO 2. Uh, do you use iRacing or just F1? I use iRacing. I haven't done so for a while, um, but yeah. It's just expensive to upkeep your subscription on iRacing. I've spent, like, probably $200 on iRacing, give or take, on, like, different cars and tracks. I'm not very good at it. It's a lot easier to just, like, just sit and watch. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it, I do enjoy it. The open wheel stuff is very enjoyable. The Porsche Cup, Kiera Cup is good. Um, yeah, I do play iRacing. CSGO 2 will be a new game. I'll wait for it to come out, then. I'll wait for it to come out. It's a free update to CSGO. Uh, it might be. It might be, Forking Toasters. It might. You just have to load up CSGO, CSGO to get CS2. Oh, is, it, is that all you have to do? I mean, I would open it now, but I don't know if my PC would survive. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. ACC, yeah, I've played ACC yesterday. Brilliant fun. I was at um, I was at Brands Hatch on Sunday, um, watching the British GT in real life. That was a hell of a lot of fun. Um, I got some pictures in downloads. I think it's in downloads. Light the ceiling, can't there you go? That's one of my favourite photos. They, these are unedited though. Um, but yeah. Brands is my local. Um, don't know what these pictures are, but yeah, Brands is like forty minute drive for me up the uh, M2. So yeah, I go there as much as I can. I'm going there for BTCC again in October, so that should be fun. Fuck my quality shit. Uh oh, is that why? How? <laughs> Gonna get smacked turn one. Are you like at the back or in the middle? <laughs> Good luck, Max. How long's the race? Or, like, laps, isn't it? It's probably, like, 15 laps or 20 minutes or something. Good luck. Hopefully it won't be an ACC again. Still looks really dope. Yeah, honestly, GT's brilliant. If any, any of you guys get a chance to watch, like, GT World or British GT or whatever in your local country, um, go with it and watch. It's amazing. You get GT3, GT4. Um, you probably get loads of fillers as well. But, yeah, really good fun. Endurance as well. 20-minute race. I wish you the best of luck. Hopefully your safety rating doesn't get impeded. And uh, you earn loads of points. Good luck. I love a BTC's version of ACC. Yeah, I like... Um, I really... I, I spoke about this a few days ago. I really want a T... Like, you guys go... If you go indoor karting, like a, a T... Like, there is kart craft and stuff. But if there's, like, a game that's, like, team sport... Like, it, it, all the indoor team sport tracks. But you can race, like, electrical petrol go-karts. 
around the team sport tracks in a video game rather than real like as well as real life but i think that would be sick but i've got no idea like how to even i mean it would be if i had the skill to do it i would absolutely like 100 percent develop a like indoor karting game but outdoor karting is just as fun. outdoor karting is like probably more fun like even like buckmore park and stuff like how cool that would be nascar yep that's another good one I thought that Sky Tempster was an ACC screenshot. For real? What, this one? Oh, no, the Sky one. Uh, hang on, I've got it as my desktop background. I don't know. I don't know where it is. Hang on, let me let me show you. Oh, I don't know where it is now. Bugger. Yeah. This was, uh, this is probably one of the, so this is turn two at Brands Hatch. So, you know, you go down the hill and then back up the hill. And then you do that hard, like, right hand turn hairpin. Brilliant spot for it because there's no fence here or anything. I, apparently, you can shoot through this fence. It's got damage, though. Um, I think it's spun in turn one, but yeah, I love the livery. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. What camera? Uh, the same one that you're seeing me through. Uh, what is it? A Sony Alpha 6 400. I've got a. Um, where is it? I've got a. Um, so I use, use the exact camera I've got now, but I changed the lens. I've got one of these guys. Um, it's a. I want to say 70 to 3, yeah, 70 to 350 millimeter lens. So that's what it was taken on. The lens costs just as much as the freaking camera, but brilliant bit of kit, and it will pretty much be my camera for the rest of my life. So it was worth my, like, investment, to be honest with you. And it can be, I mean, I only started using manual because my mate showed me how it worked, but yeah, manual uh, shooting on a, like, a DSLR camera. But I think it's a mirrorless, though. It might be a mirrorless camera, but yeah. I know. I th this camera cost me, I think, nine hundred pound on Amazon. The lens was about eight fifty. So what's that like a one point seven k camera or something? I don't know. Ridiculous. When you could literally shoot it with a fucking mobile phone, but then you won't get as good pictures. So you know, I think it's worth it. It's worth definitely worth it. I mean, Max Chappers in chat. I'm pretty sure he has like a what is it, eighty pound camera with like an eighty pound lens or something. Some of the pictures he can shoot are brilliant as well. So it's not like you need to spend that much money to get a good camera. Like, if you know where to look and what deals to get, then you can still get a very good camera for, you know, a good good value for money as well. Alpha 7s. Yeah, Alpha 7s are so expensive, though. Alpha 7s are so much more money than uh, Alpha, like, uh, 6400s or whatever. The overheat while I was filming. Yeah, because they're powerful. You're looking for a 70 to 300 minutes for a Nikon, and they go for 2 250 for second hand. Yup. If I were to sell that lens there for second hand, I'll probably get, like, 500 quid for it. That they keep their value. Any any camera equipment, whether it's second hand or brand new, keeps its value. Keeps its value. We're gonna be landing at a perfect time into Singapore, by the way. All night, do it right. 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 I'm getting my speed breaks out for a moment. There we go. Proper cameras are in a complete different league than iPhone cameras. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like if you were to go on holiday, I mean, the thing is, life is all about experiences, right? And I feel like you need to capture them with a good camera, so that's the way I look at it. And then the lens that you're seeing me this through, I mean, this thing can zoom in, like, a lot. Like, this lens is probably only, what is this? The, the lens that I'm using is 16 to 50, but, like, this is as far as it can zoom in. But this is good for, like, you know, family photos or whatever. Um, but... The only reason I bought it was obviously for streaming because I mean look look at the look at like the quality of this camera is mental. I mean it, it obviously I'm only outputting in 1080p but it shoots like 4K video. It's it's brilliant. Brilliant brilliant brilliant. But um again if if you're not into photography, I mean I I try Lightroom, I try and edit photos but it never really goes that well, but um if you know what you're doing with a camera then it's worth it. MVP yet yeah, that's brilliant for second hand. Yes. Uh, I think Bullet Heed or Lewis highly recommended that for me as well. I never bought second hand. I just want, I don't know, I, I'm that kind of guy where if I, I don't trust, I think all the cameras on there had a high, like, click count or whatever you call it, where, like, the more pictures you take, the more where a camera is or whatever, and obviously the higher the tick rate, the less the camera's worth or something. And I just wanted to start on zero and get a new one, but I think it was on Amazon on offer, so that's why I went for it. But yeah, I'm so annoyed they've made IMSA A class in iRacing just wanting more money. See, I don't understand. Hang on, let me see if I can open up iRacing now because I I've randomly been given six dollars in iRacing balance. I don't know where that's come from. I'm class B, um, at the moment. But yeah, I I don't think I'll ever get class A. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. What is the difference between 
furries and Brussels sprouts. Little kids will eat. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, I, ne I I still don't eat Brussels sprouts, to be fair, Hassan. Still don't. Still don't want them. Never want them. Never, ever, ever. Right, let's get some background brightness. It's going to get darker. It's going to get darker. Um, participation credit. Oh, is that what they are? Participation credits. Yeah. There you go. $5.98 participation credits, whatever that is. Ultima Blister 2 is a fun sim. Yeah, I never got that. I don't really know. I'm um, not really sure what... I don't know. It looks a very good sim. I've got... I've got uh, what have I got? iRacing, ACC, AC, um, Race Room, which I think is the free one. Uh, there's one that I've got as well that... Oh, what is it called, man? It's going to bugger me now. It's definitely begins with R. Beam NG Drive is one of them. There's definitely another one that begins with R, though. Uh, R Factor. That's the one. I've got R Factor 2 as well. That's pretty good for, like, your damage model. What's the difference between... Uh, no. Okay. Whatever, Ollie. Whatever, Ollie. Um... Bah, 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 bah. It's I mean six. I mean that just means I can host servers, right? That that like iRacing credit. So it's not actually that bad because I think it's like two dollars for like twenty four hours for a server or like an hour. It might, might be an hour. Do 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 do. Awesome, right, guys? Uh, remember, exclamation mark, predict in the chat if you want to predict the landing. We're not too far away from Singapore. Unfortunately, there is no air traffic control down here, but it's not the end of the world. Look at that, gorgeous, gorgeous aircraft. Do you drive an iRacing? Uh, occasionally. Occasionally. I'm, uh, I'm pretty good. I mean, I can't say I'm bad. I'm just nowhere near the pace of everybody else. I'm in a completely different league, so. I'm okay. I'm better than your average, I would say. Super truck coming to Automate Blister 2, which is the main thing I'm interested in. Nice. Like, truck racing and stuff. Is that super trucks? Oh, no, they're not what I think they are. They're more like sort of off-roading, like almost a mount, uh, monster truck. It's fun, though, yeah. It's good fun. I've got a... Um, so I've got a circle wheel. Hang on. This is what I would use for, like, ETS2 or, like, ACC. Just, you know, your average circle, circle wheel. And then... Uh, I've got the I've got like a replica Mercedes wheel which is down there as well but that's what I use for like Formula 1. Super trucks are mental huge jumps on street tracks. Huge Oh they actually do jumps during the races as well. Are they the kind of kind of things that do joker laps maybe I'm not too sure. Had to grab my dinner and missed the scent banger nice. <laughs> Damn I could do with some lunch actually but I'll probably go and grab some after this. I can't escape Steal in my head. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right, we, uh, we've gone past 18,000. We'll carry on descent. We'll go down to 5,000 feet altitude intervene. Um, and we should be chilling. Let's go and put in our ILS frequency. Still plenty of time. Zero, seven, all, uh, no, hang on. That's Jakarta chart, so we want Singapore ones. Boom, boom, uh, two, zero, right. That's what we're landing on. Uh, 203, 108.9. 203, 108.9. 108.9, perfect. So I'll put it on this guy's side as well, 108.9. And then 203, which has not synced up. That's fine. You have standard fanatic set. Our main thing upgraded was the proper brake pedals. Yeah. I, um, I've got the... Oh, I don't know what pedals they are. They're not, they're CSL elites, but they're not, I think they're just V2 or something. I don't know. I didn't get a dampener kit on them, basically. I would like to get a better brake, but I don't really see the point. I'm not going to do it, like, permanently, and, yeah. It's working as it is, so I don't really see the point of investing the money in it, really. Right, we're speed 2, I don't know why we're going speed 230 at the moment. We'll carry on 250 for a moment. We should be good. I was going to do what to you? I thought you said what you said, but I couldn't believe you said that. What did I, I say? As well, that oh, what is it called, man? It's gonna bugger me now. It's definitely begins with R. A beam NG drive is one of them. There's definitely another one that begins with R though. Uh, 
R Factor, that's the one. I've got R Factor too as well. What happened? I've got this well that oh, what is it called, man? It's gonna bugger me now. What what's wrong with it's gonna bugger me now? I thought you meant bug you, but what's the difference? Is it offensive? I don't really know. It's bug me. Oh, okay. I I have no idea. I don't I don't know what bugger me means. Do I have to Urban Dictionary it and then I get full embarrassment? Hang on. Let's have a look. I take back what I said if it's like rude or something. I'm sorry. It's bug me. Hang on. We're on the oxygen now. It's an expression of surprise or partial disbelief. What's wrong with that? Well, bugger me. No, it... What? I, I don't think it's that bad. You shouldn't say it on stream. Oh. Hang on. Bugger means something that annoys you. I don't know. Oh well. That's what I mean, Ozone. Apparently not, but whatever. Never mind, I won't say it again. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm innocent in all this. Uh, in the context that I used it in, it didn't mean the bad one, so, yeah. Alright, okay. I didn't know that. I, I mean, I didn't use it in that context, so. O Ollie, Ollie brought it up. I'm blaming Ollie. Sim's looking gorgeous, by the way. Sim's looking gorgeous. Literally, Fanta Bait. Sensitive people. Although, I had to, you guys were, uh, I had to approve all your auto mod requests because apparently Twitch base it as like a bad term or something, so. You're delicate. Oh, don't we know about that? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Right, okay. We're almost, uh, on final, by the way. We'll turn up the sound of the same, we'll turn the music down a little bit as well. Do you think MSS 24 will have a better weather system as it actually wipe? Well, I'd hope so, because the wipers don't really wipe away rain, do they? So, I, I'm I'm sure they're working on it. I'm sure they've heard from the feedback and they're uh, they're giving it their best. I, I hope they're giving it their best shot. Anyway, I'll still be buying it though. I will still buy buying it. We will stand. Does MS Flight use Rex like FSX? Uh, I don't know. I don't use any Rex products. I used to use Rex Accuseason, but I don't bother using that anymore. Up first. Where do you think today is another split stream long haul, Omega? Why did I think today? It's probably because I put in my live notification that it's going to be a split stream, but I just didn't use the word long haul. But yeah. X-Plane 12 uh, rain is very good. It is very, very good. Right. We've got about 20 nautical miles to go in a straight line. Then we're doing a left-hand turn, uh, pretty much left 45 degrees, and then another left, like... 270 and then we'll be on final for 20 left there's uh singapore airport there it is and marina bay where the f1 is is literally just down here it's a little bit further south of the airport um probably like a 10 minute drive i can't lie not far away from the airport at all uh screens need to be turned down a little bit as well they're a little bit bright uh, obviously i suppose it's getting darker as well there you go a bit better a bit better uh, so it's going to be a new game. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 is going to be an entirely new, uh, new, new game. You have to buy it again and everything. I don't know if you'll get like a little bit of a discount um, if you own this this edition of MSFS. I'm sure you would, like even if it's just 10% or something. Um, but they're more focusing on MSFS 2024 to make like more like real life stuff. Like you can put out fires, rescue operations. Um, they're trying to bring the sim to, to life more, basically, with more to do, rather than just flying around the world in any aircraft. Which, I mean, is a sim anyway, but they're obviously improving loads of things, so... And also, I, be I believe, like, most scenery can just be ported over instantly as well, um, which is positive. Um, planes might need to see a minor update, but... There's some scenery developers that haven't mentioned... Oh, I've already said that they're going to be free updates to their scenery. Other scenery developers probably like just sim will give like five euro upgrade fees just so they can make a bit more buck but there we go 
It will be on Game Pass, I'm very sure. They will be stupid if they don't put it on Game Pass, so... Yeah, right, QNH 1011. My 4090 will struggle. Well, by then we'll have a 59. I'm kidding. <laughs> As if. No, my 4090s stay with me for a very long time. Uh, 1 in 0, 5 knots. Uh, QNH 1009 are down at Singapore. There you go, 1009. We're free 10,000 as well. Landing lights can be coming on. Uh, continuous on the engine as well. Perfect. There we go. Uh, DJ Flunk, sorry, I'll do that for you, mate. I, I, they still haven't changed it so your chat members can use Meta. It's really annoying. It's really annoying. Um, it is on Game Pass Day on E. Just sorry. Oh, okay, nice. Nice, nice. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, that would be silly not to do that. Home slice, bread slice. You're welcome. Um, right, chat. I'll be right back in two seconds. Bear with me. Um, yeah, I will be right back. Uh, I'll literally be two seconds. Hello, 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 hello. Quick snack before we land. Perfectly on descent as well. We'll go speed 240. Look at that. Sim's gorgeous. You guys, have you ever had tuck biscuits with cheese in the middle of them? Cheese sandwich tuck. They're basically two tuck biscuits with like cheese filling. They're like the best biscuits ever. They're so good. They are so good. Is it healthy? No. It's definitely not healthy. Or you need some. See, these are very rare to find in supermarkets. Normally you just buy the regular tuck biscuits, but they got like cream. They're amazing. What cheese though? Um, it's just cheese flavoured filling. It's not really um, proper cheese. Why does it sound so English? Mate, crackers. That's why. Crackers. I work at Sainsbury's, we have an app to find anything in the store. Well, buy yourself some tuck biscuits with cheese. You're going to get some later. They're gorgeous, mate. Mm. Amazing. No, no. I'm not adding my... They, they're Jacobs. They're made by Jacobs, but they already have cheese in them. It just saves you time. Uh-uh. 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 The only problem is, because they're so thick, you barely get any in a packet. I think there's maybe like 12 in a packet, which just isn't enough. That's the problem. I cry. Ha! Oh no! I got them in the co-op, if that's any help. I bought them in the co-op. Yeah. Yeah, that, Hassan, I used to do that until I got lazy. <laughs> Co-ops are local anyway. I'll come. Yeah, there was like three packets and I picked up two of them. <laughs> One's the co-op. They're on aisle four on the bottom shelf. <laughs> I don't actually have a clue. They're, um... Yeah. 
They're with all the crisps and stuff. Uh, not yet, Super Mega Geek. Noted. Good. Um, <laughs> no, I'm saving up money. I'm going to apply for the British Airways program uh, next month, and then the TUI program in July. See where that. See where I go with those. Um, and if they don't, they don't work out, then I'll save up uh, 85 grand and just train to be one. Why cheese isn't in the fridge? No, it's not cheese. It's cheese like it's paste. We always have our cheese in the fridge. What? Yeah, it's about 85 grand. It's uh, some some courses like 100 grand. It's very expensive. It's very expensive. Right, music's coming off. Music is coming off. 5,000 feet, 240. We're going to get that down to 230 before we make the turn. We're going to click the approach button as well. And there we are. We're perfect on the ice and the glide. Probably speed 200, but we'd actually be sensible right now as well. Your friends are Ryan Airpilot. Nice. What, 73? Does he fly 737s then, I guess? I mean, they're the only. <laughs> I don't know how he could be a ride air pilot and fly 320s, but I mean, he's got louder. I suppose louder is also an airline, but. You know. NZA just dropped Milford. Oh my god, Milford! Milford Sound! Yeah, yeah, Milford's gorgeous! Oh my god, that's huge! Maybe we'll do that tonight flying with Dan. NZA Milford. No way. They're releasing it tomorrow. Maybe I'll drop them a message and get it a day early. <laughs> oh, that's going to be so good. Yeah, Milford Sound, that NZMF. That place is gorgeous. I'll drop them a message later and be like, can I stream it early, please? Okay, thanks. It's out now. Oh, is it out? That said 13th of September. Today's the oh, it's the 13th for you guys, isn't it? I forgot. It's because it's early. It's early. F yep, that makes sense. That does make sense. Hang on, it's pitch black. There we go. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. Right, speed breaks out. Let's get drop, get the gear down. Flaps come down as well. I'll have a look at it. I'll try. How much is it? Move to South Africa and do your flight training there. Would probably cost you half. I did PPL in three months for a 15. Wow. Mate, our PPLs over here would cost like 10 grand. No word of a lie. Holy moly. Yeah, but don't need to get some sort of visa and stuff for like South Africa though. I mean, you're obviously moving out of the country for like six months, so. Oh, 19 New Zealand dollars. I don't know what that is in British pounds, but I'm sure it's not that expensive. Right, speed 180. Um, we'll carry on that descent as well. We have captured the ILS. We've captured the localizer as well. And Singapore traffic, Indonesian 837. Uh, we're about 20 nautical miles out of runway 20, right? Um, for landing. Sounds good enough to me. Sounds good enough to me. go just stick to the flight sim nah what's the I, i'm fed up of looking at pixels on the screen i'll be honest real life is so much better dude so much better oh shit there you go flat 15 8 it's only 8.99 oh 19 euros oh okay a little bit more money that's fine i'll live Definitely need a visa, but East, uh, East for you, easy for UK citizens, probably around £100. Per oh, that's cheap. That's We're chilling with that. We're chilling with that. Right, flat 15. Good, right, we'll enable this as well. Perfect, right. We should be good for landing then. We'll get our VRF speed in. It's definitely not that. 1 4. We'll do 1 4 5 for our IAS speed. 1 4 5. Perfect. 1 4 5 IAS, uh, 1 minimum is 2,000 feet. Perfect. Wait, I'm confused. 19 euro is about probably 19 pounds nowadays. The pound is very weak. It's very weak. Singapore traffic, Falcon Air 421, passing 9,000. Left midfield down with Harlas on the way to zero. Right, we on final, Singapore. Nice. I don't know if that's fucking toasters. Potentially is. Yeah, because there's only, only one other guy here. Right, we're going to disengage the autopilot. Uh, auto brake would be beneficial as well. Trim down, auto throttle out as well. <laughs> Lol, DJ Clonk, that got auto modded. I wonder why. <laughs> um, 19 euros, like 15, 16 pounds. Okay, that's not too bad. And you get, it's not just Milford Sound either. You get the whole area, don't you? You get the whole area. Right, let's nail this, guys. Perfect time of the day. Singapore's looking gorgeous. Real time, real weather as well. Calm wind, 7 knot crosswind coming from the left. 
we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Yeah, Kenko braces might be needed, but we should be okay. I'm gonna, I hopefully we'll battle this. It's been a really enjoyable flight actually, away from Jakarta. Really good, had a good fun. Really been good. My nose down there a bit. There we go. Perfect. Got all the predictions coming in now. <laughs> Love it. Singapore looks so good at night. I don't think I've ever done Singapore at night, actually. It does look really nice. Alright, back on that glide now, which is good. Localizer, we are stable. I didn't put my minimums in, but we will just say minimums and we'll say continue anyway. A little bit low now, but that's okay. Keeping an eye on the speed of the nose. Can't really blame the wind, because there isn't any. Slam it down and the wind all the way is zigzag. Nah, we will zigzag on the... I always zigzag on the uh, center line. Don't know why, but it always happens. Bit of an unstable approach, but we're okay. Speed's a little bit higher, though. Bring the speed back. Flaps are 40. Gears down. Auto brake set to 2. Speed brakes are not armed. There we go. That was close on the speed brakes. Holy moly, I forgot about those. Idle. Oh, we buttered that. That was not too shabby at all. Full reversal to break decel. Hopefully spoilers. Yeah, we got spoilers as well. Let's go. Sugar. I told you I'd be zigzagging on the center line. I told you so. I'll take that. That wasn't too bad at all. That was nice. How would you mean hard? What do you mean? Mate, we fled at the perfect time. Reverse thrust is out. Auto break decel. You can't expect, like, the most buttery landing ever, every single time. Not butter, maybe... L exactly. Well, lure pack is butter, isn't it? I don't know. We'll deal with it. And, uh, single traffic, Indonesia 837, vacated a runway to the right. Awesome. We'll watch our friend come into land as well in a moment. Um, we'll get our APU started. We'll get our, uh, spoilers back in. And we'll get our flaps up as well. Lure pack is better than butter. Oh, even better. Even better. That was more... What do you... Right, okay, okay, okay. I'm being bullied now for my landing. There is someone down here, but I don't know where they are. We'll have a look at landing right in a minute. There's our friend. There's the AirAsia. That's fucking Toasters. The one and only. Soon to be a Twitch partner, I'll have you know. Keep an eye out for him. Lure pack is neither better or butter. What is... Oh, what is lure pack, then? Is it better butter butter, or is it better than butter? <laughs> I love that. Alright, auto break off as well. Perfect. There we go. It is butter. Fucking toaster. We'll go and uh, park right in front of the sign, I think, just to our right here. Right here. It is actually butter. Lure pack. Slightly salted butter made from 100% milk. Yeah. I've seen it in supermarkets. Lure pack is better than butter. Oh, come. So you guys were being nice about my landing, then. Right? <laughs> or is it just a joke that just turned on on its side? Right, take off lights off. Engine's back to off position. Strobe can come off as well. I don't have a clue what stand we'll go in, but we'll go in one of these just in front of us as well, and we should be all right. We should be chilling. Didn't want to catch a feeling... Good, good, good flight though. I really enjoyed that. I love Indonesian flights. They're so good. We'll take a right hand turn here. What's this? Bravo 7. We're lighting up the ground with our tactical like that. Now, now, now. Is this going to be Bravo 8 or Bravo 6? Bravo 8. Okay, we'll get GSX on Bravo 8 then. I took a polar right. Oh my god, there was someone with a Polaroid at Brands the other day. No idea what he was doing. Why would you use. Why would you take a Polaroid to fucking Brands Hatch? Alright, follow me. Here we go. Hopefully, we can get a move on her. Lower pack is butter with ra rapeseed oil. There you go. Well, he'll be taking pictures, yeah, but with a Polaroid? Really? I don't know. For the memories. Yeah, but don't they just print out, like, instantly? Polaroids take gorgeous photos. Oh, do they actually? Okay, okay. They're like 120 quid, though, aren't they? And, like, the refills are probably really expensive. Traffic, but fair enough. Tom Craig, good afternoon. Hello. Oh, shoot. 
Oh no, he's. I, I thought that was him there. He's over here. It's fine. He's 15 nautical miles out. Probably always a legit. Okay, fair enough then. I take back what I said. He knows what he's doing. The photos look stunning. He probably has like a one of those like memory books. Don't do you know like those like picture books or whatever to remember your day out or whatever. He's probably got one of those. He was only probably like. I wouldn't say he was much. He was pretty similar age to me, to be fair. Right, stop there. Perfect. There we go. Parking brake set. Um, and APU is on. So we'll turn on engine APU 1, APU 2, engine 2, and engine 1 off. And we'll go and uh, start deboarding. G, G to 12 then. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Right, request deboarding. That should hopefully get the jetway to us as well, which it has done. And there we go. There we go. We'll watch uh, fucking toasters come into land as well. They're bright and yellow. Maybe not. I'm not sure. They probably grow in a field, though, of some kind, but there you go. Right, we're going to have a look what the landing rate is. Let me just go and have a look. look yeah, okay, fucking toast is not too far. We'll definitely watch his landing. Good flight, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. I had a blast. It was a... Uh, I do like Jakarta, and I do like Singapore as well, so it was good to fly from either or. Um, definitely made a, definitely made a nice, uh, nice change. Look at that. Right in front of the, uh, the logo as well. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Can we get, like... It's a shame this isn't lit up. Singapore Changi Airport. Wait, do I still have the Asobo scenery installed? I wonder if I've still got the Asobo. I'm not sure. They don't look like they're in it. We're doing the show. No, we're done. We, if we go live, we're going to go live again tonight. I'm only doing this flight this morning. I've got, um, well, I've got a meeting at half five this evening. But um, there's a few things I want to do this afternoon, such as sort out the freaking Lego Concord. <laughs> I need to get rid of it. Um, but yeah, if you get Milford, you just want to highlight that there's a free Milford expansion also on their website. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'll have a l I, I'll have a look at the NZA website. I'll have a look at um, what choices are available. Get rid. Uh, send back to Lego. You're not keeping it. Nope. It's too big. L have you seen the size of the box? I shown this earlier. Hang on. This is the size of the Lego Concord. I'm not keeping it. It's over a meter long when you build it. So, yeah. That's going back to Lego. I'll buy a hypercar or something instead. Keep it. No, Max. <laughs> Max, right, for real. What the hell am I going to do with that? Like, seriously. I'm not hanging it. I'm not putting it on my wall. I'm not hanging it anywhere. It's normal size or just small. Like this rubber, then. Like I shown yesterday. But it's normal size for you guys. You can fit it in a pencil case. For me, it's massive. <sighs> you guys. You guys. You guys. <sighs> what was it? It's Lego Concord. It's Lego Concord. Be without you. Be without you. Good luck, fucking toasters. You're going to nail this. Meow. He's in the distance somewhere. There you go. Must be big if you're holding it up. It's about a meter tall by like... 70 centimeters across or something i don't really know i bought it thinking it was like a small little like model like maybe this big but it's like this big <laughs> mate I, I haven't got enough room in my room as it is so yeah it won't be happening won't be happening love you really mrs clan if you don't want it i'll have it build it send it to the video and then hang it off my wall for you ah oh, will you pay me 170 pound as well not but it's good it's good value for how big the how big it is but there you go i bet auntie said what you can do with that uh yeah pretty much i pretty much told them that i'll send it back before it arrived i worked out how big it was maybe 10 minutes after i bought it tried to request cancellation and they just said no um and the best way they'll just said oh we'll send you a free return label just send it back to us like when it arrives so i'll go and do that selling for more money on ebay yeah we could sell it on ebay it depends how much postage is though Maybe I will send it, sell it on eBay if I make, like, 50 quid from it. I don't know. What's the landing rate? I'll have a look after we, we watched uh, fucking Toaster's landing. He gets the best uh, the best view of the landing. I need to turn down the sound of the sim. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out after this, though, guys. I am done. Good flight, though. Really, enjoy, really did enjoy it. But, yeah, we won't do the return. We won't do the return. Put a reserve on it. Well, like, bit, put an auction. But yeah, but then I've still got to wait another seven days, though. Are people genuinely wanting the Lego Concord that bad? Hmm. Not sure. You can hang it in your house for free. You build it and you, I keep it. Wait. You can hang it at my house for free. Right. Okay. So I build it. 
send it to you for free, and then you can just put it in your house. Seems like a deal, Wyvers. Seems like a deal. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like, I, I don't know eBay very well, but yeah, I know what you mean by reserve. So if it doesn't meet, like, a, a certain requirement, then it basically just won't sell, basically. Go on, go on, go on. Oh my god, he's floated it, he's floated it. He's got it down, he's got it down. Butter! And nose coming down as well, gorgeous. I tried to follow that as best I could, but camera call, camera work is, needs some work, to be fair. You know, need to set up, what's the site called? For iRacing VRS, Virtual Racing School. Just search VRS and it should come up. Have you not seen uh, Hangar Ridge prices, especially for an aircraft of that size? It's honestly a steal for what I'm offering. Are they like double that? Are they double that price? Bruh. Thank you very much for flying with me, fucking toasters, mate. I do appreciate that very much. You're a fucking legend. See what I did there? No. Although you did literally vacate halfway down the runway. You vacated so far down the runway, mate. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. There you go. Gorgeous. Right. We'll have a look at the landing rate and then I'll, uh, I'll head out for some lunch. Let me close it down. Who's going to win, though? Who's going to win the landing rate competition? 306! Jesus. Okay, maybe it wasn't as lure packy as you guys thought it was. Singapore traffic going air four two one clear runway two zero right Singapore. Oof. It wasn't that bad. I think that's lying. That's definitely lying. Roman, well done on the prediction, mate. I said it was a brick landing. Yeah, you were kind of right. It was margarine. Margarine's still smooth though. It was a rock. It was a brick. It was fine. I enjoyed it. Doesn't matter. The passengers wouldn't have been harmed, and they they will still have their spines in their back. So that's all that matters. Um, right, guys, I'm gonna head out. Thank you for an awesome, awesome, awesome stream. Thank you for the followers. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the resubs. Um, I'll be live again tonight. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, whether it be flight sim, whether it be something else. Uh, Milford sound does sound like a shout, though. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I failed miserably. Forgive me, mate. You know you didn't. It was, uh, for, mate, fucking toasted, mate. I appreciate you, uh, you flying along. And it, plus, in your area of the world as well. We need to do this more often. We need to do this more often. Um, but yeah, I will roll some credits. I won't raid anybody. Um, but I'll see you all very soon, all right? Uh, if you're not in the Discord as well and you are new, make sure you guys get yourselves in the Discord server. Um, and I'll let you guys know when I'm live and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your days. Have a good Tuesday. And, um, I'll see you all soon, all right? Thank you, guys. Bye. See you later. Good night. Bye. Good night. It's afternoon, whatever. Bye. See you later. Have a good one. Bye. Ba 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 ba. See ya.